Yo, 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 yo! I was trying to wait for it to cycle back to the the title screen, but it's taking forever. I mean, I was ready. To, I can't wait, so I didn't. We'll see. Oh they're, oh, they're going in order, I think, so... No, they're not going in order. That's, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense at all. I kind of wanted to open up when it's, like, you know, rare and there's a little bug flying around and shit. Does want me to have that? It just keeps... Fuck it. What do I know? Uh... Well, there it is. What up? Thanks for joining me today. A little bit of a late start. But these things happen. I'm going to be playing Banjo-Kazooie today. My goal is to play the entire game. 100% it. Now, fortunately, a game like this... 100% isn't much of a hassle. You have to do most of it in order to just beat the game. Um, the only real issue is if you if you miss like one thing in the level and you don't know where it is, then you're wandering around for a while. But besides that, should be good. I hope everybody's having a good Sunday. That's it. I got nothing else. Um, this is just a game I felt like playing. I don't think it's new. I know it's not new. Or popular. Um, some of you have probably seen it. Maybe some of you haven't. I think it's circa 1998, I believe, is when it came out. For the Nintendo 64. It was then released on the Xbox 360 in... I don't know. 2000 and what? When did it come out? Early. 2008? 2010? Something like that? I'm not sure. 
Then they added it to the Rare Replay uh, collection, but it's just the same game. Um, so you see here, this is a 100% file. Took me seven and a half hours to beat. I'm guessing my time's gonna be somewhere around there today. Unless I get stuck doing something. But if you're unfamiliar with the game, it's very similar, in my opinion, to Super Mario 64. The difference just being that there are learned abilities in this game. Um, and, and the reason why I think it's faster is because every level's got 10 jiggies, which are basically the equivalent to stars in Super Mario 64. Um, but you do, but they, they take a, some take a little longer to, to get. You know, most of them in Mario 64, you just go and pick up. You have to do something to get most of them to appear in this game. Uh, but you don't have to leave the level every time you get one. That's what really drags down Super Mario 64. Uh, there are 10 in every level, as opposed to uh, 7 in Super Mario. But Super Mario 64, I think, has like 15 levels. This game only has 9. There's 9, uh, and then there's like a, a hub world you're running around in. And that's basically it. So I feel like, I feel like playing it. So I'm going to play it. Um, the totally unrelated to any of this. The Ghost of uh, Tsushima update came out that added the the co-op DLC stuff, which is pretty fun. I've been playing that. But more importantly, they added a new game plus. Now, I probably wasn't going to play new game plus because I have all the trophies. But they added a trophy for beating new game plus. So that's something I might throw on stream. Um, it's a long game. But if I'm just... If it's New Game Plus and all the items and stuff carry over, I won't have to run around searching for stuff. So I'll just, like, hammer my way through the game. Uh, so that's something I might stream in the future. Just throwing that out there while we sit and watch the cutscenes. It's a very fun game. And also, I'll probably put it in Japanese and throw subtitles up. Because the first time I played it, it was, um... I put it in English. So the basic plot of this game, got Banjo, just chilling, just enjoying his lazy life in Spiral Mountain, and then you got the the witch Gruntilda living just just next door, really, uh, one of his only neighbors. And today, out of all days, she's like, "Yo, piss pot." He was good looking, and uh, he says, "Tootie." I don't know why today. And also, I mean, she's just a bear with pigtails. I don't understand the comparison. Uh, so Gruntilda's reaction is, nah, dog, nah. So I'm gonna kidnap her, and I'm gonna take her beauty. And then Banjo goes, whoa, 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 whoa. Gotta stop that. Boom! The game begins. I've, I've gotten ahead of the game already, because that hasn't happened yet. So, sorry to ruin it for you. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Thanks for watching. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for the subs and the bits and all that. Everybody, everybody's doing out there. Appreciate it. I hope this goes well. I hope this is just like a nice, breezy. Michael doesn't get mad or annoyed at the game. But it just has a good old time. There's really only a couple of uh, uh, parts in this game. Rusty Bucket Bay is one of them. Because there's this in interior part of the level where you can fall. Um, it's like a, it's like a, you know, the edge of the world you can fall into and then it puts you back at the beginning. That's kind of annoying. Um, most levels don't have that. Almost all levels. I don't know any other level that has that. Um, and then the last level can be annoying only because it's split into four different seasons. So if you miss something in one of the seasons, like it's the same exact level, it's just, you know, spring, summer, fall, winter. So if you happen to miss something in one of the seasons, you you gotta go back. Other than that, pretty easy. That and I will get lost in the hedge maze in Mad Monster Mansion because I'm stupid. Even though it's my favorite level in the game. But now the intro's over, the game has begun, and uh, we're going to play. Thankfully, 
the beginning of the game, it's so you don't have you don't have any abilities, even the ones you start with, which is just like attack and, and double not really double jump, but you do all that crap. So this is bottles, and he he teaches you your abilities throughout the game. You get a couple per world. Like, hey, you can do the, this new thing. You do this new thing. Um, but fortunately, as long as you don't mash buttons here, you can just skip the whole beginning where he tells you he slowly walks you through all the things you can do. Um, what I like about this game is they give you the abilities as you go, but there's very little need for backtracking. It's not like World 1... You need an ability that you don't get until World 4. Banjo-Tooie is full of that. It's the whole the game's bigger in general, but that's also why it takes way longer. Because you can't complete the worlds as you do it. And then they're like, there's shortcuts from one world right into another. It's a fucking real headache compared to this game. Uh, there's only, I think, one instance in this entire game where you have to get an ability in the next world uh, in order to uh, get a Jiggy. And that's to... You need to get the speed shoes. I think it's the last ability you get in the game. You need to get the speed shoes so you can run really fast. You can win a, win a race in uh, Freeze Easy Peak. You don't get that to the next level. But usually what I do is I pop into that level first, get the shoes, leave, and then I do Freeze Easy so I don't have to come back later. So now you just gave us all the abilities that the basic stuff you would teach us. You got your little, it's not really a double jump, but it's like, an, like a 1.5 jump. You got all your Kazooie pecs. This, I would argue, is the most useful attack in the entire game because you can control it. When you roll, you're you're very... Like, once you hit roll, you can't adjust at all, and you're very... You're stuck. Same thing with the with the little swipes there. What I'm saying is Banjo is worthless. So, I will use this the entire game. Occasionally, you gotta do that to hit a button or something. So, this is kind of the training area. They just tell you every time you pick up an item, it goes, this is what I do. That's health, the little honey honeycomb piece there. Um, there are... Oh, hang on, kill this cauliflower. So these are <clears throat> empty honeycomb pieces or extra honeycomb pieces. If you get six of them, you get... Uh, one extra life, like permanently. Um, or health. You get an extra unit on your health bar because you start with five so as the game starts out there's six right in this first area so you can immediately bump it up one and then there's two in every single world and there's nine worlds which uh, gives you a total of 18 which gives you a total of plus three more additional um you know permanent health increases so that's really all there is to do in this first area, is just get all six of these suckas. The, the nice thing about this game once they ported it to Xbox, the only thing that they changed is if you're doing a level and you're collecting notes. So the notes are kind of like the coins in this game, but they do serve more of a function. Uh, Jiggies are the main thing you're collecting, and you need them to unlock levels. You need X amount to unlock the next level by filling in a, a, a puzzle. Um, like missing pieces in a puzzle. But notes unlock doors throughout the lair. So you do need to collect them in order to progress to get to the levels. But in the original game, much like coins in Mario, if you've got you know, 80 notes or something in a level and you die, they all reset. And you gotta do the whole level over again to get all the notes. In the Xbox version, they change that where you keep your notes. So especially on a level like Rusty Bucket Bay, it, it takes a lot of the horror out of the game. It's all six already. Put put the put. Uh -huh. A lot of stupid classic noises in this game. Alright, I went off script there a little bit. Uh oh. Getting getting darker and more ominous. 
you imagine you'd live right next to that? Why would you build a house there? So you get a nice satisfying 100 jiggies when you walk into the into the layer here. They give you one flat out because you needed to start the first world. So that's one. Then you get 10 in every level. So that's 90. And then every single level has a has a switch somewhere in it that unlocks one more you can get in Grunty's lair in the in like the hub world giving you nine more so you can get a total of 100. They didn't do that with the notes. Kind of wish they put 100 notes in the lair. Because you get 100 Jiggies, which is very satisfying. But you only get 900 notes. And so, I don't remember how many you need in order to beat the game. You need a lot. You need like 800 or like something like that. Somewhere around 800. But the very, very, very end of the game, if you've got all the notes and all the Jiggies, they still don't make you get all of them. But I think it's like 970 notes or something. And then up to, I think, 98 Jiggies. They give you a bunch of bonus stuff right at the end of the game that makes the final boss battle a lot easier. It's really just like refills. They give you an egg, a red feather, and a gold feather refill right before the boss. Uh, and then the most valuable thing is you unlock... It's basically like a Zelda, you know, armor upgrade. So you take like half damage. Like all your health turns a different color and essentially doubles it. Which is very useful for the for the final boss. But that's, besides being a completionist, the only reason to get all of them. Yeah, so you can... Okay, so every world you have to unlock, you gotta find this puzzle somewhere in the lair. And then you put the pieces in it, you unlock the next one. So you can, you can beat this game... Um, without doing everything. I mean, if you, if you're hundred percenting it, or like getting all the jiggies in every level. I, I, you can probably beat it without even going into the last world. But it's still nothing compared to Super Mario 64. I mean, you could beat that game, I think, at... at shit, like 70 stars or something? Something like that? And there's 150? You need a lot of... You need a lot more in this game. Uh, so those are Jinjos. Jinjos are kind of like the red coins. There's five in every level. You you save all five of them, you get a... Uh, get a Jiggy. You got Mumbo tokens here. You need them in order to... Pay for Mumbo's magic, which transforms you into some sort of... Level-specific level specific creature. He's not in every world. I think there's four or five transformations. And the worlds are, they're, they're pretty small, but it's a very enjoyable game. So hopefully this is just a nice, breezy Sunday. This bull right off the bat, can't kill him. He's invincible. Later when you get the golden feathers, which essentially is like getting a star. It makes you invincible when you use when you use it. You still can't kill him. You stun him for like two seconds, uh, and then and then he just gets up. Can you? There you go. Come on now. It was clearly on the mark. Ooh, this light guy. There we go. A lot of talking at you in the beginning. Don't worry. They'll they'll get silenced over time. This this little guy goes, yo, give me an orange. Where's the oranges? I don't know. That guy was just throwing them. Check the tree! Got it. Here you go. Here's your orange. Let's put it right there. Right on next to you. Get 
The only other thing that might take a while in this game, so at the very end, after you beat all the worlds, but before the final boss fight, you have to do this kind of game show thing. And you move across these game boards and you have to do challenges on each, on each specific piece to get by. And if you get it wrong or you fail the challenge, you take one health of damage. So again, having more health there is obviously beneficial. But there are these particular pieces that are quizzes about Gruntilda. And it's all stupid shit like, what kind of toothpaste did she use? And then you have three options. It'll be like, you know, you know, snail flavored slugs. It's not that. But whatever. Or it'll be like, you know, butt, butt brine. It's all disgusting shit. But I'm pretty sure it's randomized every game. There's not like a right answer. And the only way you know the answer to these questions is her sister, or one of her sisters, because boy, you find out she's got a bunch in the next game, is just kind of chilling throughout the lair. And you're supposed to talk to her and I guess write these down where she'll say, hey, in high school, this was her boyfriend or this was the name of her first pet. I don't do that. I can't stand that shit. It's boring and it's annoying. So when I get to the end of the game, I just fucking guess. And usually it's fine. I'll just keep guessing and taking hits and uh, plow through it because there's not that many you have to go through on the board. Uh, but that's the only thing that potentially all the other stuff is easy. Like what world is this? sound effect from or like can you you want to get hit i'm like i'm fucking you up hey look at me tell me when i'm talking to you he's he's just okay come on wake up there you go now you're kicking so i i was talking over it by the way i just got this ability to shoot eggs so i fucked them up Yeah, I see a chat saying like they can help me with the trivia, but again, I'm pretty sure it's randomized every game, so that's it doesn't help. I could be wrong. Like maybe it's set. I, the questions are certainly random, but I thought the answers were random too. I don't know enough about the game. I don't care. I was 10 when it came out or so. So it's just something, you know, I have all the knowledge I have in this game and I just I don't need any more. Oh, I will say this, though. I did learn this. I blew Lindsay's mind the last time I played it. I mean, it was, you know, a while ago, but still recent in the span of my entire life. You can kill the shark in um, Treasure Trove Cove, which is the next level. Because uh, he's really annoying. There's a lot of shit you gotta jump in the water for, and the shark comes after you. But you can actually kill him temporarily. He comes back, but you can actually kill him with eggs. And I never knew that until, like, a year or so ago. That blew me away. Because like the bull, I thought he was invincible. This is like the most useful and annoying... You're gonna hate it. If you've never played this game before, be prepared to hate this entire stream. Because he gives you the talent trot, which lets you go up slopes. You know, for example, I couldn't walk up this slope, and if I stand on it, I'll slide down. But if I do this, now Kazooie walks, you can stand on it. The other thing is, you move way faster. The downside here, again, for people unfamiliar with this game, is now the whole game you'll hear <laughs> it, It's like a white noise to me because I grew up with it and I've played it so many times but I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold it against you if it really pissed you off. But that's just the reality of the situation. It's going to happen the entire game now. The only time to not do it is when you need to do a big jump because you, you can only do hops when you're talon trotting. And you can't do your secondary little, uh, like, jump flap. Alright, we're good over there. Oh, no, we're not. We, uh, I gotta get the ground pound before I can hit that switch over there. But other than that, then we're good. Got some ants over here. Well, actually, they're termites, to be specific. They definitely look like ants, but that's, that's what the game says. That guy.
Now I can smash the beak buster. He also feels the need to inform you you've learned all abilities in said level. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. These notes always come in batches. There's never a single note. So, again, that's kind of the only thing where you get to the end of the level and you have 98 notes. You're just like, shit. I got some somewhere and missed, like, a corner, you know, like, the camera angle might have been weird and you couldn't see it, or, like, if you've got, if you've got everything, if you have all the gingos, all the jiggies, you know, everything, and you're just missing a note or two, you've probably been to the area and just walked past it. What I do like about that backflip is when you, when you crouch, he still slides a little, so it's like, shh. You can slide into it. You just eat. We just eat. A lot of this stuff as a kid took a while to figure out. You know, you you learn anything with a mouth or a hole, shoot eggs into it. But wait, don't shoot this one yet. You need it to get this, that guy right there. The other thing in, in a in a pro strat world is to turn into the the creature last or whatever Mumbo's magic is, do it last because then you can just leave the world and any you you can maintain that form outside of the level but only in a very small radius and then he just says hey my magic's running out if you keep walking it's going to disappear and then disappear but it saves you the trouble of going back and um you know just having him turn you back and almost every single transformation is necessary to get a um a jiggy and Gruntilda's lair, including this this level here. Um, so I'm missing ten notes. I don't remember how many are in the uh, the termite hill itself. I don't think I've missed any yet. The other sneaky little spot in every level is in Mumbo's hut, you can jump um, on, on, up until, like, the the ceiling. And there's always shit up there. They're not always notes. Sometimes they're eggs or feathers or some worthless crap. But occasionally, there'll be notes and or uh, Jinjos. Okay, so then... This guy's over here. First try. Excellent. I've missed anything. So, head in here. He's got some just chilling. Okay, I don't know. I didn't want to talk to you yet. I'll talk to you on my time, not on your time. Kazooie's also an asshole. She's always just like, what's up, dumb dumb head, or like skirt boy, or numb skull, or every person she talks to, she's just a real turd. There's a real rivalry, especially between her and Bottles. She calls them goggles, like that nerd, wearing glasses. Yo! 
There's also a chance. I don't know what the chance is. And I think it's the same in every single level. But there's a chance that he can turn you into a washing machine. Which is just he fucked up and it's worthless. And then they actually made that a real thing in Banjo-Tooie. There's a level where you have to become a washing machine. It sucks too because you can't... It's very worthless. You need it to just to kind of open doors and stuff. But this game it's funny because it's a joke. Not in the next one. One hondo notes. Here we go. It's an extra life. Um, and that's that. Now when you get 10, hang on. There's like a little extra fanfare and, and Banjo does a whole other thing. A lot of times you will be transformed and you get nothing. You just get the termite stands there and goes, I, I don't, I don't know. Also hoping my internet doesn't shit the bed today. It usually does it real late around 1 a.m. if it's going to happen. Just to say, that's not, you know, that's not up to me. So you can't get that without the termite. So that's what I was saying, like, you need that to exit the level, which is why you want to leave that for the last thing you do. And then you leave. This guy's talking at me, and then Mumbo goes, hang on! Hang on, guy! And you go, I don't care. And then poof, turns you back. Time saved. Time saved all around. What I do like about this game is it's very good at keeping stats. So you just go check your totals. It tells you your time and all the shit that you've collected. Like even in the first area, it took me five and a half minutes to do Spiral Mountain. And then you got Mumbo's Mountain. 1402. We're good. And uh, now we're moving on. And so you couldn't even, like, you have to do that, one, because you don't have jiggies or notes or anything, but you also can't get up this without the talent trot. You get up there, and they say, hang on, you need 50 notes. Which is crazy, because, again, later, you know, you have the possibility of 100 for every single level, so maybe you've done four levels. So if you got them all, you have 400 notes. And it'll, it'll need 300, like 280 to get by. So you do need to collect most of them. But... Starting at 50 is just... If you only got 50 notes in that last level, you're going to have problems in this game. I mean, you're going to have to be going back. Right. Well, I guess you didn't miss much for getting 10, because that's exactly what he does. It's kind of... It's a big deal when you get 10 jiggies, but then they go, eh, give it to him when they open the door, too, I guess. I don't know. Pop down here real quick. So this is our first cauldron. These are all connected. There's there's two, um, or they're you know, there's, they they come in pairs. And if you find both of them, you can just warp. It's just to get around the layer quickly, which you really don't have to do much backtracking if you know where you're going. But if you don't, you can kind of wander around for a while. So even the open world too. All you need is two. All you need is two puzzle pieces. All oh, right. There's another cauldron somewhere. I don't know if it's this one or the next one. I think it's this one. Yo, yo, back up, buddy! These are not... It's not connected to the other one I just got. In case you were wondering, don't be alarmed. It is a different color. There's also a lot of stuff in this game that you don't realize you can break when if it, you're playing it for the first time. Where you just go, holy shit, I remember that as a kid going like, that's a door? I could get in there? Damn. 
Well, that's the next one we gotta open. That's 180. So even right off, like, the first one, you needed 50. But if you, if you had less than 80, even if you get 100 in the second level, you still need more to get through. Oh, actually, though, I take it back. I'm a dum-dum. There's actually three worlds before you go through there. So never mind. Ignore what I just said. So you could have up to 300. Help! Watch this shit. Watch this shit. You better, you better move, you bitch. It'll disappear. Dead! And then when you go to another area, he'll be back. And you don't have to kill him there at all. You could easily go in and get the ginger pop out. But... Just didn't... I just, you know... Didn't want to leave him breathing. I never knew that as a kid. That always sucks. There's, there's, a, so, there's a bunch of shit you have to get in the water. And all you can do is kind of like jump and do this in the water. And eventually he will catch you. It's just, you know, okay, he hit me twice. As long as you have health, it's fine. There's usually like a box or something you can get to. But it really sucked. It was always annoying that, like, man, there's nothing you could do about this guy. And I never knew you could hit him. But I will say the second game does much better. Because I almost... I almost enjoy the simplicity of it more in the first game. I really enjoyed 2E, but it's... There's so much shit, and there's so much backtracking, and like, what the hell is happening? Um, but what the second one, in my opinion, definitely did better was bosses. They're a little bit more... Um, I don't know, involved? This game not only doesn't have one for every level, I mean, there wasn't one. I, you know, I don't know if I called that guy a boss, but it was a big enemy that there's only one of. Um, there's not much in the way of that in this game. The final boss is actually a really good boss, right? It's hard, and it's, there's a lot of phases to it, but there's not much throughout the game. Yeah, Banjo did straight up bully this guy. He rolled up to him, killed him, and then... Uh, looted his dead body, essentially. Seemed pretty unnecessary. You got blubber over here. <laughs> yep. Yep. Red feathies. So here, Kazooie learns to fly. You know, she is a bird. But you can only fly in these red pads. Because, to be fair, I guess that would make the game far too easy if you could just fly whenever you wanted. Especially in level. I mean, there's plenty of levels that don't have flight pads. If you hear whistling, or he'll go, Help me! Or help! Or some shit like that. That means a Jinjo's nearby. The second game, they start throwing fake Jinjo's in. I can't remember what they're called, but... You get close and they go, eh, and they try and hit you. Everybody's disgusting. He's just burping. The guy's just made of burps. So, like, this is something that's, as a kid, you're like, what? That's a thing? So you need to find his gold pieces. You can just break this right here. That's a door. There's a lot of stuff that looks like that that isn't a door. So you really only know just by trial and error. Oh, you fuck. The only part where, in my opinion, it's really obvious is in Rusty Bucket Bay, there's windows that you can break on the ship. And the the breakable windows that lead to rooms are three-dimensional. And the the windows you can't break are two-dimensional and flat. That's kind of a giveaway. But stuff like that, or stuff like grates, I mentioned it because there was a grate back in the lair, and that reminded me of it. Like, because you can't break that one. But there's tons of grates that look exactly the same, and you can bust them open. Guy couldn't swim in his own wrecked ship and just get his own gold. Like, it's like, oh, my gold's missing. You're standing on it. 
Fucking baby. Here! He's loving it. He's burping. And so if you hold the A button, it speeds up the text, but it also speeds, it like increases the pitch. So that it's like low, um, like lower sounding burps. But if you hold it, it's, it's high pitched burps, which is still gross. And the only real reason you'd know any of these, like, his name's Snacker. The only reason you know any of their names, at least the enemies, most of the characters tell you what their names are, is after you beat the game, it does a really, and I mean really, long-ass credit sequence where you see the names of every single enemy in the game. A lot of them have stupid names. Like, the bull's name is something butt, like butt bull or butt, butt's eye or something, something stupid. I know butt's in the name, that's for sure. Come on. There you go. This game is like, um, not doing like a speed run, you know, like I'm a perfect robot person or using glitches or, um, Sequence breaking, which I'm sure is in the game. It's like an eight hour, seven, seven and a half, eight hour game. If you know what you're doing and you're not wandering around like a normal human playing it who knows everything, I'm gonna guess, you know, eight hours. But you could fuck up a bunch and make it take longer. That 7.30 that I had might be the fastest I've ever completed it. I'm, I'm honestly not sure. Just kind of wandering around, not really doing anything in any particular order. So every time you press A, you fly up a little more and it costs one feather. Uh, you will gradually just descend. He doesn't do a little dance when you get a jiggy underwater, I assume because he doesn't want to drown. He doesn't have time for it. There are way more Mumbo tokens than you need in the entire game. But the last, like, two worlds, I think, are 25 each. So you definitely want to be collecting them anytime you see them. But there are... I don't know. I mean, like, there's more. There's extra. It's not, like, a ton. You know, you don't end with 50. But you might have 10 or 15 extra or something like that if you've gotten everyone. I'm sure there's some tucked away somewhere that I've missed and I don't know exists because a lot of them are, again, just hidden by by shady camera angles. And there's a couple other things in this game, like that that mountain right there. It's a whole big, stupid, elaborate story that in the original game. There were these items that you that you couldn't get. They 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 only show them to you because at the end of the game, I can't remember if you have to perfect it or they just show you anyway. But Mumbo Jumbo at the end of the game rolls up with pictures and he's like, "Yo, check these out." And one of the pictures is that island is out of the water and there's like an entrance you can go into. And you climb this big spire and there's an egg at the top. And they're like, "Yo, what's that?" And it was called Stop and Swap. And so it was supposed to be a feature they were going to use in Banjo-Tooie, where, if I recall, you have the game in your Nintendo 64, or like, 
I, I can't remember if you start in Banjo Kazooie or you start in Banjo Tooie, something like that. Because, you know, updates didn't exist back then. They couldn't update a game. It's just the cartridge and then and then that's it. But you were like mid game gonna gonna at a certain screen take the game out and put the other game in. You know, like take out Banjo Tooie, put Banjo Kazooie in, it would read your data. Then you put Banjo Tooie back in and there's some sort of reward or transfer. Uh, but it was abandoned, and it didn't do anything. But the assets for it were still left in the game, including the ending, where they show you the shit that you can't get. I mean, you can get it with, like, Game Shark or something, I think. But it didn't do anything. So when they re-released this one in Banjo 2 on the Xbox Live Arcade, in, you know, whatever, late 2000s, they re-added it. And it was kind of just like... It was like a people pleaser, like, oh, I remember that thing, because it, because back in, back in the day when this game came out, it was right on the beginning of, you know, uh, like, mass public having the internet, you know, like the late 90s, so games could still get away with these crazy rumors of like, no, there's a way to use the key, you gotta do this and play this level with this many lives, and, and like, it was still believable, you can never do that now, because 500,000 people would be like, you know, oh, I, I, I plugged in my PC and I looked at the code and that doesn't exist. But back then, there were so many lies wrapped around it that you could do something with it, but you couldn't. So they added it back in for the Xbox version. And all it really did was unlock some, like, gamer pictures and some crap like that. But when you... I think it was when you played Banjo-Tooie. Like, it's still down now. But I think if you have save data in this, and then you have save data in Banjo-Tooie, and then you come back to this game, that mountain will be out of the water, and you can go in and get the egg. And there's like, I can't remember, five or six uh, specific eggs, and then there's an ice key. And it unlocks crap in Banjo-Tooie. One of them turns Kazooie into a green dragon that breathes fire. That's pretty cool. Um, and I think it also gives you some crap in Banjo Nuts and Bolts, or Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, which was an Xbox 360 game. They said, let's make a third one, but let's make it nothing like the game at all. It'll be like a Lego game where you build vehicles and shit. And that was a weird decision. Uh, but, so you can, you can get that shit in... Uh, oh, could you always do Green Dragon 2E? I, I don't remember. Then on the Xbox version, I know you need Swap and Stop to do it. Or Stop and Swap. Swap and stop, stop and swap, probably stop and swap. This is another, like, annoying notes that are easy to miss. If you don't know they're in the water, and again, it's kind of hidden in the corner of the camera angle. Nuts and Bolts isn't a bad game. It has a, it has a history of being like, oh, we don't talk about Nuts and Bolts, Nuts and Bolts sucks. It's not a bad game, but it's a piece of shit Banjo-Kazooie game. They're just, they just take the characters and go, I don't know, let's make a completely different game that has nothing to do with the franchise, has nothing to do with, you know, the, like, completing worlds and getting jiggies and shit. I mean, they're in it, but it's like, it's like someone made a game that could have been any game in the world and then just skinned it to Banjo-Kazooie. That said, it's a pretty enjoyable game. I liked it, but it's not the third Banjo-Kazooie. It's not what people wanted. They just wanted this and another one and new. Alright, so we got the... Got that shit. I need to go out there and get that. Did I get the ones in the trees here yet? Yeah, that's all good. Oh, I need to learn this so I can use these pads. You know, I never really played ukulele, which is, you know, a lot of the people that made Banjo-Kazooie and I assume Banjo-Tooie. Um, you know, they obviously like Rare and then Microsoft bought Rare, so they own the rights to all the characters and stuff. Why didn't you... Uh, why didn't you bounce there, Banjo? That was crazy. Uh, but I don't know. I bought it. I backed it on Kickstarter and it was just a thing where it came out and I was like, I don't know. So no, I've never really played it. I've I own it somewhere. I don't even remember where I own it. I think I learned it on console, if I'm not mistaken. But it's definitely something I could potentially play, but I would have no idea what the hell it was doing. 
Uh, but yeah, they were like, fuck it, let's just make Banjo-Kazooie again because people wanted it, but we can't use them, so we'll just make new characters, but it's the same thing. Getting this thing a lot easier. There's also an extra life way out near that island that I just don't give a shit about. There's still some notes in trees. I don't remember where they are. There they are. Okay. I think it's this way. Yeah, it is. Kill this shark again. Still not back yet? Alright, shit. Is he a sucker? Eh, he's back now, but... Something I don't think they ever tell you, I could be wrong, but when you're swimming or flying too, I don't remember what it is, probably R on the 64, but if you hold the right bumper, you can make really sharp turns, which just helps you get out of corners easier. If you're like, right, instead of just like swimming into the wall and turning around, you can do hard turns. Um, I can't remember if I got all the shit near the stairs. I think that might be most of it. There's one Jinjo left. Who do I got left? I need one Jinjo. I know where that is. That's three. I'm still gonna, missing a bunch of... Oh, there's one I gotta fly over to. That's right. The only thing that might hold me up is just me forgetting, like, which ones I haven't gotten yet. Because occasionally they'll be really... The, the, the ones that are more involved are actually easier to remember, like the treasure chest one. You know, where you have to hit all the red X's and shit. But there are a few that are just, you know, like this one's in the box. Or, uh, like the one that I got earlier that was in the bottom of the water. That one little, uh, like, hole that I had to swim in with the mine in it. Even that one's easier to remember in the chest because you have to get the... The feathers in order to get it. Oh, I think it's over here. That's right, it's a bunch of platforming. You missed it. You fucked it up. You ruined everything. You're a failure. I like, even if you slide off, like right there, I slid off. But he'll t he'll still continue to jump. So he did that backflip in midair. Like a wizard. Thank you so much for everybody donating bits and subs and stuff. Really appreciate it. I, s I see it. You know, not all of it. Some of it, though. See it over there. What happened to Crash? Nothing. Just haven't played it again yet. I assume I'll finish it on stream. I've only done one part. Um, it's enjoyable, but... There's a lot. There's a lot of stuff to find, and there's a lot of... Um, I, I imagine backtracking, like, things you can't collect in that game. Uh, like, on the first playthrough. I mean, you have to, like, get hidden gems and come back to levels and stuff like that. And it's a game I've never played, so without having, like, a guide up or something would be quite a lot to do all that. That's why I like playing this. You know, it's, it's shorter as far as, you know, the entirety of the game. And I know most of it. I mean, I know all of it. I just might forget some. 
Oh, the other annoying thing that I can see myself fucking up a bunch, which I don't always, but it's... The potential is there, is the... The mini game where you have to eat the stupid red and yellow fruits as the crocodile. That can be really annoying. That, that one is the only other instance where you can use an ability from later in the game, and, and again, it's the speed shoes, but you don't need them to win. You can win without them, but it makes it a lot easier because you're basically just racing a, another crocodile trying to like eat a bunch of shit, and whoever has more wins, and you have to do three rounds of it. But it can be annoying. He can he can really screw you. It's it's also random where sometimes you're just waiting for certain colors to pop up and they don't, and then four or five appear next to him. Like right now, I'm trying to think where... Where I'm missing the ginger. Did I save the ginger? Did I black out? I think I did save him, right? I got him, right? I think I just picked it up. Okay, but... Okay, well... No, no I didn't get him. Okay. Was he... Did I get the one in the fucking tree? There's one right down here somewhere. I don't know if I got him yet. No, there he is. Okay. We're good. No, no, we're good. Whoa, gamer picture unlocked that I definitely have already. That's it, we're done. Level two, complete. They will get longer. They definitely get more elaborate. The last two usually take me at least an hour or so. Rusty Bucket really depends on how much I suck. And Click Clock Wood, I just don't see how you can do any faster. Right? I think I got everything. Double check. I think I got the... Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so the extra jiggy is up here. And we just fired out of a cannon. Oh, Carrie here? What up, Carrie? So down there, that's that's where you unlock the opening to Click Clock Wood, which is the very last level in the game, which you need a lot of jiggies to do, like 20 or something like that. But it's the only level in the game that you have to do something in order to unlock the the pad that you stand on. So you can't you can't do it right now, basically. Why they put it so early, I don't know. You you swim in there and you go, what's this? There might be a mumbo token over there that I can get, like, right now, but I won't need it. Um, this is level three, Clanker's Cavern. Which is a giant metal shark. But somewhere, he's referred to as a whale, which is absurd. Like, I, I guess the only thing is he's got, like, a blowhole. But it, he looks nothing like a whale. I mean, it's it's clearly a shark. I think it's the... So that's what I'm saying. Like, this little jiggy thing you stand on. Click Clockwood doesn't have that. You have to, like, press a button somewhere to make it appear. Um, it's the it's the trivia game at the end. There's one question referring to Clanker's Cavern. And, and I'm pretty sure Gruntilda calls him a whale. And you're just like, what the hell are you talking about? It's a fucking shark. Um, thinking, hang on. Okay. I'm gonna do this. Uh, 
I don't really need to do this yet, but I will. See, this, so that's Gruntilda's sister. She'll just tell you shit throughout the game. Here, you showed up too late to have the nuts and bolts conversation, alright? Enough out of you. Stop. It's fine. It's not my favorite Banjo game, obviously. But it's, it was a fun game. After you, I buried the hatred in my heart. I actually enjoyed it. I perfected it. I got all the achievements, including the multiplayer one. That, those, that was a bitch, but I did it. Played the DLC. Gary, you only played that one? That's bizarre. Finally now, you have the ability to just pull the right trigger and put all the pieces in. So, this is level four, Bubble Gloop Swamp. Just getting it ready. Just getting it ready early. Timer. Oh, it is. Okay. It's just slow. It's very, very slow timer. It's definitely a game for kids, but there's some stuff in this game where you do it and go, that's... How's a kid gonna do that? I mean, I did. I was a loser, but... There's some hard shit in this game. Like, man, in Bubble Goop Swamp, it's not incredibly difficult, but there's, like, a memory thing. You know, there's, like, five or six different colored turtles, and they all have different notes, and you need to memorize the pattern. And the last one you gotta do it to get a jiggy, it's, like, seven notes in a row or something. Like, I, I fuck it up almost every time at least once. Alright, so these are gold feathers. When I learn this ability, which is in this level... It's essentially invincibility, as long as I use it. And it eliminates any challenge in the entire game where you have to fight enemies. Because there's a bunch of parts in various levels where you have to, like... Uh, defeat a bunch of, like, waves of enemies. It's not really, like, like waves, but you just stand in one spot and they keep running at you. So all you have to do is have a bunch of feathers and just hold the button down. And they, they all just kill themselves. They just run into you and die. He's a garbage grinder, man. The garbage grinder. Oh, Minjos. That's right. That's what they're called. No, there's no Minjos in this game, I don't think. They're only in two. Those are, that's what I was saying. They pretend to be Jinjos. Until you get close and they go, ah! And they fuck you up. Minjo! That's what they say. This I always like to do in order, because it's you can get confused about which ones you have and haven't gone in. That's usually what I try to do in every level. I just start from one side and move, like, one, one at a time. For nothing else, just so I can keep track of the, the notes, since there's a hundred of them. So I just hug this wall and I make a, a full circle to just make sure I go in all these little holes. Think this is a dead end? Nope, it's not. But they are connected, so that's good. It's a dead end on one of these. One of them is absolutely worthless. Oh, 
Oh, this is where you gotta fight the radioactive crabs. I messed up, dude. I messed up. Oh, in case anybody's wondering, I am, I mean, I am playing this on Xbox. It's, I do own it on the original N64, though. I bought one, like, two years ago. And even though I own this game already, I was like, fuck it. I bought the classics. I bought this. I got Ocarina of Time. I contemplated hooking it up. Just out of some sort of... You know, like, purest accomplishment. And then I was like, dude, I'm an hour and a half late anyway. Fuck that. It'd take me another hour to get all that shit set up. And you're just looking at the way more likelihood chance of the console freezing or something like that. And of course, back to the hell I referred to as if you die, you gotta collect all the notes again. That would be tragic. Yeah, the analog stick is also not comfortable. It was definitely something that shouldn't have been designed for human beings to use. It's like a, a thumbstick made out of, uh, like, tungsten. There, keep on swimming. Whoops, I looked at the chat. I, I've gone too far. Go back. Shit. This is going to be the dead end one, isn't it? Although the dead end one actually might have a jiggy at the end of it, now that I think about it. It does. Can you 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 want to breathe, buddy? There you go. Uh Okay, I think that's it. Get those all out of the way. Then let's go underwater. Get this stuff out of the way. I really love that it doesn't kick you out of the level. I mean, it would be way worse in this game just because there's a lot more planning you have to do. If you leave a level, for example, say you, I don't know, like hit a switch in a level and it raises a platform. If you leave that, if you leave the level and come back, you have to hit that switch again. So that would be insanity but it's just so damn annoying in Mario 64 I played a little bit of it um, you know it's like 3D All-Stars just came out and you're like fuck like, yeah I get it he jumps out and then he dances and then he takes his hat off and then he puts it back on you gotta go back in like just except for the 100 coin star that one you get to stay that's it I doubt it's clearly the notes were in here already. <gasps> Shit. <gasps> All right, now we got to go way down. If I can fucking find the hole. Jesus. It's a giant hole in the floor. Um, there's a little fish down here that swims around shitting out air bubbles. Because you'll, you'll drown. But yeah, this is another easy part to die at. If you're... If you... F it up. Um, and this is not one of those games where if you run out of air, it then drains your health. I know there's a lot of games like that. If you run out of air, you just die instantly.
Can you pick that up? Thank you. No, my air. My precious air! There's one more. Where is it? There it is. Camera angle's a bit of a struggle down here, though. Alright, and then, what you want to do for the jiggy is you gotta swim through this key, I think, three times. In any direction, which doesn't make a, a lick of sense. Missed. Missed it. There we go. And it s sort of releases him? Grab one for the road. All right, that does all the underwater stuff. And now we need to do the perimeter stuff. best strategy for that thing is like jump and start pecking as you wander into it and then it'll just jump out to its own death and there's a lot of variations of that enemy it's in at least three levels that I can think of Shit like this, too, it's not, like, you know, particularly difficult. But shit like this is why I'm good at games like Chicken Horse. Of, like, the the finagling of the camera, of doing wall jumps, and, and like, again, like, pixel jumps where you gotta jump at the edge of shit. And he goes, yeah, I got fucked up teeth. And I, I guess they're supposed to be rotten, but they just look like gold teeth to me. They look like the teeth you don't want to be knocking out. Like, those are the money teeth. Cost a fortune to put those teeth in. I'm just gonna do this real quick. Just leave, because this one has a mumbo token. I don't think there's any reason to go up here. And I guess I already have. You can only fall for so long before you lose the ability to do that double, that uh, flap jump. But that'll prevent you from taking any fall damage. Um, but you can't, like, jump off the top of a fucking cliff and still do it. Like, without... It, it, basically, you enter, like, a free fall at some point. So, I'm now at nine lives, um, and it'll always be at nine, but I think you still keep getting them. It just doesn't go into double digits. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't even get this one yet. Just chilling on his back. That one's a really tricky one because there are gates like that that you have to do something to open, like push a button or, or, or you know, kill a bunch of enemies or whatever. But it also looks like one you could just smash open. And if I'm if I'm not mistaken, you can't smash it open. You have to shoot it. So that's definitely one where you could be you just not know how to open it. And and you go, Oh, I'd shoot it with eggs? Okay. There's no precedent for that really in the rest of the game, but I guess that's that's it. Alright, I think that's everything on the sides. I think I just have to go up. And that's it. And then, and then dive inside this fool. Look at this. I mean, like... This is shark. This should be a shark. Look at it. Fuck you. Uh, okay, this way. Wait! Made it. Yeah, I'm aware sharks don't have blowholes. Welcome to fucking 40 minutes ago when I said sharks don't have blowholes. Boom. Roasted. Fuck. Fuck. Ah, shit. Oh, I didn't get the other thing yet, although it doesn't necessarily stop me from doing this. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. That was pointless. That was that's a speedrunner's nightmare right there. That was a pointless path, because I have to come through here another way already. So I didn't need the technique to get through there, it just makes it easier. Like those those fins or those spinning blades, you're actually able to dodge, but there's there's one on the other side where that gold feather is that you can't, and you have to use the gold feather ability to just run through it. have to jump through those two and then get the last one underwater. Uh, it's possible. If there's, if there's no more, then I'll get it. Okay. okay. Woo! Woo! Almost looked foolish there. This makes the wobble go up. So you can get this, and then you can also get the, uh, flight pad on the other side. And all these delicious gold feathers. Watch out for that thing. Okay, we dodged it.
He didn't even tell you what the name of this move is. Because all the moves have names. And even, even, again, in the quiz, there's a question that asks you something about the name of this move. It's like, what, what move is this sound effect to? And I don't remember what, it's called like, you know, golden something. But it'd be nice if, you know, you told me. It might not even be called golden something. <laughs> I don't remember. Wonder Wing. Yeah, you're right. That's it. It's like, it's one, it's a super easy question though, because it's like, what's the name of the move? And I think it plays the sound effect. It's like Wonder Wing. Or like super seek like super goal one wonder wing. It's just like one real sounding answer, and then they just add like adjectives to the other ones. The goal comes from the I, I believe Kazooie is a Breagle or some shit is the species of bird they decide to call him. So there's various goals thrown around in, in some of the names. Uh, so now there's two exits we can do, one on each side. This one's got a Jinjo over here. Planning on getting that, I'm gonna get whacked in the face. Actually, I could just turn around and go the other way. So this just spits you out, um, like on his side gills, which, as we all know, whales don't have. So further's the mystery. I don't think they have fins either. No, I think some sharks do have spinning blades in them, actually. Um, I'm going the wrong way. I'm not sure which ones. I'm pretty sure that's true. And I also think most whales don't have eyes, either. They use sonar. So, like... This whole game's a piece of shit, really. Go in here. Get, get in there. Boom! Level 3 done! Take a bow! And away we go! Contemplating when I should order my food. I've got a five guys waiting in a cart ready to slap that order button. Five Guys Cheeseburger, not the men themselves. <laughs> Maybe after Bubble Gloop. I'll order it. Alright. Oh, fuck my butthole. That was... I did waste some time right there. Again, streamers are crying. Or speed, I'm, I'm, I'm a streamer, professional. Uh, Speedrunners are crying. I missed a, uh, I missed a honeycomb. Oh, this is costing me. This is gonna cost me like two minutes, dude. That, that would ruin someone's entire career. You can also just die. And it'll bring you back to the beginning. I might, I might do that so I don't have to swim all the way back there. Um, 
Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It is... It's not that one. There it is. That one. Nope. Not that one. No. Not that one. Shit. Nope. Fuck. What? What? How dare you? Is it really? I don't, I don't. I don't know if I believe that. Let's find out. I can't look up. Yeah, that's a lie. It's that one. He was just wedged. All right. I'll guess I'll. I'll spare his life. Here's what I do. I'll swim, but I'm not going up for air. So if I don't make it, then I don't make it. These are my demands. Regrettably, he's going to make it. That was super close. That would have it would it would have really annoyed me if we left the level. I was here. I was like, okay, here we go. And I I only realized it because I was about to check my totals, and then I realized I was missing. There's a lot of suspense. It's very suspenseful. Now we just cruise on over, pop open the. Uh, oh, where the fuck did the? That's right, this thing. No, wait. No, I opened that. Shit! Where did the... I forgot where the fucking Jiggy appears that I unlocked. Shit! Is it up high? Where the hell is it? It popped out its... Oh, no, that's right. It's the eyeballs. Okay, that's right. Her eyes popped out of her fucking face. That's what it was. Whew! Almost had to start asking questions. I'm not paying attention to anything I'm doing. I'm just sort of doing it. You busted. You busted. The effing huh? Uh yeah, that concludes our business over here for now. Pop open this, do another dance. I'll pour myself another delicious beverage. Ninety minutes, not bad so far. Three worlds. Again, they will get longer. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping I can do it in under eight hours, especially because I started late. If I do it in eight hours, that would be like ten thirty at night for me. I have. No children today, though, so it's kind of the perfect day to do it. Okay, um, bubble gloop, I believe, is up here. Whoa, 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 wee! Now, this, let me show you right here. This is a bit of a time saver. So check this shit. I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna go find this little asshole who's annoyingly in the back corner because this ability is essential throughout this entire level and it's the only one you get. It lets you wear those, those waiting boots. It's waiting with a D, not waiting. Um, because there's like... I mean, it looks like fucked up poison, but I guess there's chompy fish in the water, and they'll they'll bite you. They'll bite you, your footsies and your toesies. So you need those boots in order to not get bit. But grab it real quick. Leave. There should be a pair back here. Nope. And it's all the way over there in the pipe. I'm going to do this because it's a shortcut. I don't care. It's faster. 
Look at that. It's just like, sometimes you gotta sacrifice health for time. Grab these. These things always last almost precisely for how long you need them. There are, you know, certain boots that are clearly in certain sections, so you can run in and pick up a Jiggy or a Jinjo or whatever. And uh, this, for example, you can run through this getting bit a bunch, but I don't think you could survive the way back. So you have to come this way, which you can do at the end of the level. You could even exit the level as the crocodile. The crocodile can run through that shit. Um, although I think the crocodile can't use this platform, so you wouldn't be able to activate this level. But the reason you want to do this first, before you do the level, again, is because ideally you, you, you turn to the crocodile last, get all the shit you need, then exit the level. You come over here. Now you have to break this first as Banjo. Then you can crawl through there as the crocodile. And that's the first instance of Cheeto, the cheat book who gives you cheats that you can use. Whoops, forgot about the whole boots I was talking about. Um, you go back to Treasure Trove Cove and you go to that, you go into the sand castle where you had to smash Kazooie's face into the floor and type Banjo-Kazooie to get a jiggy. But he'll give you three codes that you can type there. Blue eggs, red feathers, and gold feathers. And it just gives you double of all of those items. Like, it doubles your max capacity. The eggs are essentially worthless. I mean, you're really never firing off a thousand eggs. And the red feathers are, like, kind of useful for the very last level. Because there's a section where you're flying. Like, it's super tall, so you might burn, like, 20 just tapping A. But easily the most useful are the gold feathers for, like, the final boss fight. Um, but I usually just save the trip and just wait till I have all three cheats to go back and do it. But that's where you get the first one. And so if you go over there with a crocodile and you didn't break that piece of ice, you gotta turn back into Banjo, come back, break it, come all the way back into this level, turn to the crocodile, and then go all the way back there. Which is annoying. Uh, let's keep an eye on, like, these things. There's sometimes some some shit up top. And grab me some health. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just don't care. And fuck it. If I were if I were good, that would have only bit me once, but I'm not. I'm just you know what? Listen. You know what I was getting into? You're dead. Okay. So first shit, where did that other thing appear? Was it up here? I think it was up here. Go up here. Grab all this shit. Fire one off into this guy's face. Get a little Ekam Bokum going. Oh, we almost missed it! So much up here for us to collect. Oh, crap. And then, go back here. Oof, camera angle. It's, it's definitely worth it to stop and adjust instead of just... Because usually the game gives you way more time than you need. It's kind of like, ah, ah. and when you're close enough, you can just like jump gaps and stuff. I mean, we got that in 19 seconds and it gave us 45. Okay. So it's easy to get lost in this level, but essentially it's like you start back there you come here and then you can go left more like there's like two lefts straight and to the right. 
So I just like to go one direction at a time. Um, the section... I'm trying to remember which way the mumbo is. You want to do that one last, again, just for the sake of the transformation. Uh, yeah, he's behind this dude. So we'll leave the crocodile for last. I'll leave the notes there, too, because it's easy to remember... You know, hey, if there's notes sitting there, then I haven't been that way yet. Oh, this is another one of the things I was talking about where they just come at you. It's not that hard, but fuck it. And I'm probably going to run out. Nope, didn't. Still had one left. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. How do I feel about lurkers? Are you referring to people in the chat that don't say anything, or are you talking about... Like, the StarCraft Zerg unit. Because I I like both of them. Doesn't really bother me at all. Um, again, I'll just throw it out. Thanks for anybody that's, like, subbed or donated bits. Appreciate it. Hope people are just enjoying a chill Banjo-Kazooie Sunday. If you don't want to do that and you just want to sit there and watch it, that's fine, too. The chat is mostly for you to chat amongst yourselves. I, I look at it way more than I respond to it. I do respond to it, but... I'm I'm looking. I'm seeing it. I see ya. I'm not sure what direction it was. Timing was perfect. The aim was off. Aim was perfect. Timing was off. This fucker, watch this. Eat my eggs. Oh, excellent. That'll sometimes take me five attempts to get. Whoopam! Hope nobody lived there! Up! 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 We're fine. Yeah, so all these little ones, you can't even get those with the with the boots because you're too tall and you can't squeeze under there. So you gotta come back as the baby croc. As just a baby. I think the only backtracking I'll have to do there is the, um... Oh, no, wait. No, it's not even there. The... The little, uh croc mouth I'm shooting eggs into I think might reappear somewhere I've already been before but uh, I know he'll appear over there in that corner that's why it's suspiciously vacant no I like this too so I, 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 I don't read anything I'm pretty sure he's like my feet are cold you smashed him and he screams like he's being murdered uh, but goes, ah, oh, love it, thanks. <laughs> and then I'll open my mouth, too? Weird. I'll go in. So this is the, the memory game I was talking about. And they're bastards, because not only is it a memory game, but they put two blues in, you know? So in your head, you gotta think, like, light blue, or dark blue. Could've just put a different color in, you dickhead. But I think you have to do three rounds of it. Yo, what's up, Tip Top? Yellow. Pink. It's not pink, but it's easier to say pink. It's like, I don't know, magenta or some shit. Yellow, pink, purple. What what happened? He just took it? Damn. Red, light blue, dark blue, yellow, purple. 
Couldn't see what color it was. Red. White. Dark. Yellow. Purple. Hit the fucking guy. There we go. <clears throat> Light blue. Dark blue. Light blue. Red. Yellow. Dark blue. Light blue. I got the I, I blacked out. I thought I thought see, again, I was just like I was already thinking on the back half and I fucked up the first half. Was it light blue, dark blue? Idiot. Oh, I, I didn't want to talk to you yet. Oh, yeah. So th this one at least is the same. Then it goes red. Okay. Red, yellow, dark, blue, light, blue. Got it. See, I was thinking red, yellow, dark, blue, light, blue as the ending. Red, yellow, dark, blue, light, blue. Put that up like a phone number, you know? It's like three digits and then four digits instead of seven digits, but then I'd forgot what the first three digits were. That's a problem in this process. Grab that. Get the the mumbo. And important thing to note here again. Trick of the lens. Grab that. Yeah, I saw it up there. All right, we're done here. Um, and then we can go... This way, over to the... The big old egg, I believe, is over here. That didn't have to happen, but you guys, you came after me. You made it happen. My favorite level in this game is probably Mad Monster Mansion. I just really like the aesthetic of it. Um, I like Freeze Easy Peak too. I don't really have any levels I dislike. It's just Rusty Bucket Baking, one section in particular can be annoying as shit. Sorry, wrong move. Hurry the fuck up! The leaf's coming! You're gonna miss it! <sighs> fuck, that was close. You all saw. You almost missed it. Yo, shout out! Thanks for the bits! In the work, you kicked it. If you do the puzzle of Mad Monster Mansion before actually going there, you can't get 100 notes because the puzzle is of that one room and it glitches out. I don't know what that means. How do you do the puzzle before... What do you mean before going there? I don't know what you're describing. Um, like, I know you're talking about doing the puzzle in the lair. Like, to open the level. But I've never encountered any sort of glitch. And I usually open it as soon as I can. So I'm not sure what you, you're referring to. Oh, the puzzle in Banjo's house. That's possible, because fuck that puzzle. There's, the only time I ever do that is at the very end of the game. Um, and I only did it once because it, you get an achievement. Once I got that achievement, that thing can burn in hell. It's probably the hardest thing in this entire game. Is There's a, there's a puzzle inside Banjo's house that you can do where... It, you know, it's just like a jigsaw puzzle and you have all the pieces. And I believe they made that into like a fucking game in Banjo 2, which is kind of annoying. Like, you like you have to do it to unlock. That's how you unlock the worlds in, the, in that game. But like, you're timed. And not only do you have to assemble all the pieces, but you gotta turn them and shit. You know, some are upside down and stuff. And the, the way you can complete it is the puzzle is a moving picture. So you can kind of look at it and figure out, like, 
you know, what's missing where. But the last couple levels of that are extremely difficult. Or at least they can be. But thankfully, there's no reason to do them at all, except for an achievement, which I already have, so... I will not be doing that. I would extend this stream by two hours, probably. It's not like a collectible or anything, it's just like, Hey, you wanna do some puzzles in your house? So, I don't know. I, I mean, if that glitches something, I don't know what that is. Shit. Is it truly 100%? More like 98? No, again, because there's no collectibles. There's nothing to collect. There is no mention of it in the total screen. The game has a total screen. It's pretty definitive. If it said puzzles completed, zero of nine, then you'd be correct. But thank God it doesn't say that. Shit. Get it. So there's a thing at the end of this, which I'll probably fall off. It's just annoying, because if you do, you just gotta run through this whole thing. I I hesitate to call it a maze, because it's not. It's just a straight line. Like, you, there's there's literally no dead ends that I'm aware of. Um, but it's what, you know... It, it could be a maze if someone added a couple more turns. But you have to get across here in 10 seconds, and it's it's just so thin. You're better turning the camera angle because the camera angle dictates how you walk, right? So instead of moving left and right, you just only push down and then spin the camera and then push down. Or, you know, or like this. Like, okay, never mind. I was going to say up and then it spun. So, like, I just push down until I get here and then I turn the camera. And then I... I don't know why he keeps walking up. Like, if there's some kind of drift going up, I don't know what the hell is happening. You fucked me. You fucked me. You fucked me. I was mid-jump. And the camera turned. At least I got the puzzle, so I only have to do it once. I was actually pretty pretty impressed with myself. I was like, oh, I got in my first rugged dry. And then jumping to the end, the game went, nah, fuck you. Fall. Die. Shit, I'm thinking though now. Um... I think I've got all the jiggies. Cause now is now is all that's left is to turn into the crocodile. Um I'm missing the empty honeycomb piece, which I think is in Mumbo's hut. There's the jiggy from getting all the Jinjos, which again should be on the other end of this. Oh no, no, sorry, he's in the he's just in the swamp somewhere, which again I'll get with the the crocodile. Um and then I think there's another one just floating around in the muck some- Oh no, shit! I fucked myself. I have to go back again. Um, I didn't- I didn't go back and get the, uh, the golden one. That you have to shoot the eggs into. And so once I turn into a crocodile, I can't do that. So. Fuck me! I'm gonna run in here just because I want to see if the honeycomb piece is in here or not. Oh, I guess. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay. Okay. Shit. I get caught up. I get caught up talking to you. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, so I think it's over by the turtle that I smashed his fucking legs in. That 
might be the last one. Yep. That was close! Screw it, let's just jump in and get this ginger. I don't give a shit. Okay, now... Now we can get crocked. How many notes do I have? 80? Holy shit! Oh, that's right. There's a bunch in the... I was like, where am I missing all these notes? There's a bunch in the... in the swamp. For the third time... Through the quote-unquote maze... I'm right in that line of like... I didn't remember well enough where I... Like, didn't miss it. But much like almost leaving in, in uh, Clanker's Cavern. Oh shit, I just spilled. I... I remembered before it really annoyed me. Yes, I wouldn't have liked to do this again, but if I had already become the crocodile, then I would have been annoyed as shit. I'm more annoyed that I just spilled my drink. That's just such a hassle to like come back into a level and change and ugh. No, I didn't get McDonald's the other day after Resident Evil. It was I don't know why I said Resident Evil. Dead Space. I was like, ah. and it's with the bed. All right, here's a cute little croc. Um, I saw someone mention Matt. I don't. Uh, I saw it, people mentioned earlier, but the the Ocarina of Time randomizer that I'm doing with Matt. We just did another one last week, and if you've seen it, uh, you know. If you haven't, I don't want to spoil it, but it's out now. You can go watch it on the site. It's in the stream archive. There's three parts so far. Uh, but there was a bit of a mishap, mostly due to Matt, um, at the end of part three. Uh, so a lot of people have been asking, you know, are we going to, like, how, what are we going to do proceeding from there? Uh, clearly, here's your problem. You don't follow my Twitter enough. Like, you might follow me, but, like, you really got to pay attention. Um, I already, I, that's already fixed. And no, there was no, like, Magic fix. I just fucking did it again. That was the that was the rest of my day. But we're back, and so we're ready to go for the next part. I don't know when that's gonna be. Maybe this upcoming week. I'm not sure. I would say next week at the latest. But uh, we will carry on, and we are all good to go. This camera is just wonky. Thankfully, there's nothing at risk here. I'm not taking damage or anything, but it's just. If it looks weird, yeah, it's because it's weird. It's just doing whatever the hell it wants. Speaking of shitty camera angles, too, I might do another stream just to think about putting on the radar. Is um, I'm gonna do Resident Evil 2, like the original. It's another short game. I could definitely at least one playthrough I could do in uh, uh like one sitting. Um, am I gonna quick load? We're referring to the save states. No, I've deleted them all already. I went into the folders, and they're gone, so there's nothing there. Because, like, you know, I'm an adult, you know? I'll, I'll own up to my own mistakes. The first time, 100% Matt's fault. I mean, you, you know, you were there, you saw it. If it happened again, then I would be responsible. So, I fixed it. Simple as that. Um, all right. If there's three in each nostril, we should be good. That should be everything. I really, I really gotta soak. I gotta clean this up because it's soaking into my fucking, soaking into my, my keyboard. 
desk pad. All right, there's Hundo. This is the last one. So this is what I was referring to where there there's an option to use these shoes. You see them over there. Which makes this game much easier because then you end up being way faster than this guy. But you don't need them. Hang on. I'm gonna... Oh, fuck. I think my kids destroyed all my paper towels, too. So, I'm, hang on. They like playing with them. Yep, they're gone. Damn it. Hang on. Here's a real towel, I suppose. See that? See that flare? Oh, most of it was off camera. You didn't really see it at all. Okay. Yeah, they love... If they get toilet paper or, like, paper towels, boy. They love unrolling it. Just some water for good measure. All right, so this this could get annoying. Even says her, her, her. What an asshole. So first you gotta eat the red ones. There's just red, it's just eat more than him. Then red and yellow will pop up. And you have to avoid the yellow. But then the third game, it alternates of like which ones you have to eat. The, the best strategy really isn't just to get more than him, but is to take the ones that he's getting. Because then even if you're getting less, he's getting none. You know? The first round's pretty easy. Even the second round isn't terrible. But the third round is tricky as shit because sometimes... It's, you just have to wait for them to change. See, like this, like, got it, bitch! So, like, he was gonna get that one, and then he didn't. Round one is devastating. This is a devastating loss. This is gonna go down in the history books. How brutal this is. But he can make up a score, dude. You gotta, like, keep going. I, I got an extra life somehow. I don't even know what that was from. But did I pick one up, or was that, like, from getting... 35. I don't I don't know that I've ever beat him by that much before. That was an absolute massacre. Okay. He's just going. I was not even paying attention. Shit, that's a good start for him. Damn it. Damn it! See that shit? Like, he had a bunch over there, and then all my prospects disappeared. Yeah, stay near me, but, you know, behind me. Shit. Much closer game here. No! No! Fuck. Couldn't stop him. Couldn't stop- I can't stop him! We'll be okay. <sighs> if you tie, I think he might win. I don't remember. But I think somebody wins. That was close. I was sweating at the end. The game will really start shitting out ones for him to eat. Go yellow, go yellow, go yellow. Yes. You just really got to anticipate it's going to change at some point. Last yellow. Go red, go red, go red, go red, go red. Shit. Oh, that's excellent for me. Oh, 
It's looking good, fam. It's looking good, fam. We got this. We got it. Boom! Don't need no speed shoes. Oh, so then he offers this insane shit. Where he's like, um, if you win three games in a row, you win three lives? And you're like, what? Like, lives are so worthless in this game. Like, I have, again, I don't know how many I have, because I think they count past 10, but I probably have, like, 11 or 12. He's like, yeah, beat me three times, you get three extra lives. And you're like, what a waste of time that would be. Uh, so we're good. So that's all the notes. Let's double check. Let's check the the totals. That was easily the longest I've spent in a level, I think. 29 minutes. Yeah. Um, we're good. And we can crawl our little crocodile ass out of here. We will go get the cheat page. Uh, Oh, right, the hat blew off. I really gotta remember what the hell's happening with Gruntilda. Because for a second, again, I almost forgot. Uh, okay, exit is this way. Yep. Yo, thanks for the sub, Natani! Subscribe with Prime. Prime's great because it's free. Like, the service isn't free. You pay for it. But the sub with Prime is free. That's cool. That's cool that they did that. That's That affects a lot of people, I imagine. I imagine that's a real um, big deal to a lot of streamers, having that, uh, that free Prime sub, because a lot of people have Amazon Prime. Pretty easy to do. I think you just need to be logged into like your Amazon account, and I I had to Google it like when I did it because my my Prime sub goes to Andy, um, but like you just need to be logged into Amazon Prime, and then you to, like like Twitch Prime sub go, make go, and then it gives you a link, and you're like, yeah, you get a free one. So he, she's like, I'll kill you, I'll fucking kill you, and he's like, I don't give a shit, fuck you, lady. Two hours and five minutes, four worlds, donezo. All right, so now we can get double eggs, which, as I said earlier, is kind of worthless. There's there's almost never a point where you're going, fuck, I'm out of eggs. You really only, like, I almost never use them to fight. I think one of the only instances in the entire game you'd use them to fight, and it's even if you don't have um, Wonder Wing, like if you don't have any gold feathers left, would be there's a, there's a boss fight... Uh, in Rusty Bucket Bay, where you fight this giant box of dynamite, and you can just go to the other side of the room and just shoot every egg you have, because he keeps breaking and like he he splits into two, and then the two and the two, and then the two and the two, so there ends up being like like eight little ones bouncing all over the place. So you could just shoot the shit out of those with eggs. I'll I'll probably use all my eggs and run out there, um, but it's. You know, beyond that, it's just a waste of fucking time to walk all the way back to that level to put a code in. At least until you ha already have all three spells anyway. Which I think you can actually get right before Rusty Bucket Bay. You actually get, essentially, you get the last two at the exact same time. You have to beat uh, Mad Monster Mansion in order to get both of the last two spells. So, after World 7, I'll go back and um, put the codes in. The question now is, do I order that fucking cheeseburger from Five Guys? I'm thinking about it. With with little, little Cajun fries. The answer is probably yes. I think I'm going to go, I'm going to get this set up. And then before I get into the level, I'm going to go pee pee. And I'll probably order it then. Get no Five Guys fries is ever little. I mean, you're right, because they'll dump 500 in the bag anyway. Um, okay, so... Level 5 is Freeze Easy Peak. 
But as I said, there's there's one Jiggy you can't get unless you have the shoes, which are in Gobi's Valley. But I have to progress past the screen to unlock it. But then I'll come back. I'll go in there, I'll get the shoes, and then I'll just leave. Which, like, it, it really doesn't matter. Like, I could do freeze. It's either it's either go into the le level early, get the skill, and leave. That's, like, the extra time I'm investing. Or it's complete Freeze Easy Peak, do Gobi's Valley, like I normally would, that after I finish it, go back to Freeze Easy Peak. Either way, you have to make two trips somewhere. I just like getting it out of the way. So when I'm done with Freeze Easy Peak, I can just go, it's done, and then I move on. Whoa! But um, but um, bump! Oh, the sneeze is coming. The sneeze are coming. <coughs> Excuse me. Wear my Poland shirt today. I was gonna wear my Banjo Kazooie shirt, and I didn't check till today. And I guess it's in the laundry. And I went, well, fuck that. So I'm wearing a shirt that's just Poland. Simple, effective, Polish. Why Poland? Why not? Ah, shit! I got camera got. Uh, scooch along here, pop open Gobi's Valley. And the Pokemon hat really matched with the Poland shirt. That's why I wore it. It was more anything. It was going to be either the Pokemon hat or my Dunder Mifflin hat. It just didn't... It clashed a little bit. The white. I don't know. Just wasn't feeling it. I got this hat from the internet, if I'm not mistaken. I really don't remember. Like, I purchased it. And, you know, the internet didn't gift it to me. I saw it. And buy that hat. I don't even remember what season it's from. Or it might be, I think it's the Pokemon Go logo. I don't remember. Alright, so... The shoes are in here, which I think I know where they are. They're on like a tiny little sliver of land, I know that. I think they're in the back somewhere. No! Uh, yep, there it is, over there. Muscoozy, Muscoozy. He's like, yo, dog, make you run fast. Got it. Now we're good. This level isn't my favorite. It's fine, but I don't know. It's got a good beat, though. Most levels... Fucking camera. Most levels have good beats. Don't climb a tree. It's not the time for that. Just get the hell out of here.
right. Go back this way. No! It's like, okay, okay. I'm kind of, I kind of want to stream Ocarina of Time as well. Um, I know it might be a, little, a bit like overload, but like I'm so into it since since Matt and I are doing the um, the streams. Um, but I don't know. I I, I kind of want to do a mix of like games I've played before and games that are just comfort games like this, where I can kind of turn my brain off and chat and still do everything and not get stuck or whatever. But I also want to do new games like Crash Four and shit, so people aren't watching the same old shit. Like, the, I don't want the Twitch channel to be like, Michael's Childhood, watch it, where he plays shit that's 20 years old, nobody cares about. But, um, like, fucking Resident Evil 4 is on that list. Like, another game I did an entire playthrough of on my, my very active and not dead YouTube channel. Much like this game. Um. But, I could see me doing Ocarina of Time. I, it's just, the, the thing about Ocarina of Time that sucks is... Like, what console do I play? You know, here's my issue. I, I need to pause and waste time. What console do I play it on? Because it's only on N64, and then um, the remake is on the 3DS. Um, it's available on the, the like, Zelda Collection GameCube disc, which can be played on the GameCube or the Wii. Uh, and then I think it's a download on the Wii U, which I probably own it. So I would probably play on the Wii U. I don't have it hooked up, but it's HDMI, so it's easy, and then I can use the Pro Controller. Um, I thought about it. I also want to do Pokemon Fire Red, because I haven't played that in ages. And then everyone's always like, are you going to do Randomizer or whatever? Because it is fun. Like, I've never done a Randomizer before. I did, um, like, Ocarina of Time is the first one I've ever done. Or, like, some kind of weird challenge or whatever. But I think I just want to play the game. I just want to pick a little Charmander, you know? Just fucking run around scratching. Maybe embering and just chilling and, you know, see where it would take me. But I guess I'd have to get an emulator. I don't have any emulators or ROMs or any of that nonsense, so I'd have to get that. But, um, because I own it. I actually just recently bought it, like, within the last year. I bought Lindsay. I think maybe it was for Christmas or some shit. I don't remember. I bought her a fucking GBA SP with, like, ten games, including Pokemon Fire Red. So I own it physically. Believe it or not, GBA SP, not very easy to just plug into a computer, though. All right, so I'm pausing so I don't ruin my time on the world, but I'm going to, um, I'm going to throw up my be right back because I'll be right back. I'm going to go potty. I'm going to order my five guys, and then I'm going to be back, and we're going to do Freeze Easy Peak and, you know, just keep this train a-rolling.
All right, I'm back. Uh, ah, turn that off. The food has been ordered. Probably get it when I finish this level, I imagine. I put in the notes. Please deliver after I 100% freeze easy peak. So hopefully they adhere to that. That's like what it sounded like when I went potty. A shout out to Noble Ants and Shurston, my two extremely powerful mods in the chat, along with their robotic companion Nightbot. Appreciate you for keeping these animals in line, these mashers and suckers out there. Most of you are fine, but you know. I keep an eye on you. Um, I mean, Nightbot is basically Noble Ants too. Because he did it all. He, like, I was like, hey, you want this thing? He's like, yeah, I'll do it. Oh, I put too much in that one. Is Shurston still in here? Shurston, you alive in there? In there being the chat. I know you live in there. I saw her, I saw her rooting around in there earlier. She probably sent me a message. I imagine not. Oh, I don't see anything. She was here a few minutes ago, Noble. You gotta put, like, a, a bell on her. And she wanders off. Fuck, I keep hitting this goddamn microphone. Don't spill, though. Alright, that was my, my mental break. My physical break and mental break. Let's check our totals here, so far. We've had four of nine worlds complete. Let's go all the way back to the left. And we're looking at uh, just about to hit two hours game time. Because um, I imagine it doesn't count like loading screens and shit like that and cutscenes and what have you. Not that there's loading, is like seconds, but. Okay. We ready? Get your blankies. Put your sweaters on. It's cold. Here we go. These kids in here, they're like, wham, wham, wham. Our fucking presents are gone. And their dad's gone. Everybody's missing. His name's Boggy. They have stupid names. It's like Soggy, Groggy, and Mo or something. They have dumb names. Some eggs. Grab that. Didn't need it. That's okay. Uh, okay. All clear. Yeah, their dad is right outside, but he's just laid out like a piece of shit. He's like, oh, my stomach. Oh. He's got the telltale signs of a drunk. Now, I'll tell you now, it's a jiggy. He's, he's eating a jiggy. But he's just laying on his ass just outside his house, not caring for his children. And this isn't necessarily like a Christmas level. It's snow, but also it's totally Christmas because they have presents and there's also a giant fucking Christmas tree. And this guy's just drunk. Allegedly. Outside. These, these, um, you know, frosty looking motherfuckers. They have an evil sinister laugh and they just chuck snowballs at you. Uh, and the water is quite chilly. So you'll, um,. Pardon my speech. Freeze your balls off if you go in it. We're also about to learn the last move in the game, which is normally the, the speed shoes. But seeing that we learned that already is not the last move in the game. Dude. I mean, they're close, but they're not hitting, you suckers. Yo, give me that. Give me that beak buster. Whatever the shit, shit it's called. Beak bomb. There it is. So this lets you fuck shit up from the sky. It's an aerial attack. 
And that's every learn. Uh, that's every learn in the move. Every move you can learn in the game. It's been done. Um, I'm just gonna take these assholes out because they're annoying as shit. Most of them give you shit that you need or want. Who's laughing now? Not you. You're dead. Fuck, shit, I'm gonna hit the ice. Yep, yep, yep. That's right, there's a pad right over here somewhere. One of these houses. There it is. This, this very home. Can you get around the house, though? Because you're kind of making me look like an asshole. Get your ass up. Get the... Can you, can you get up? There you go. I knew you could do it. I'll come back for you. Ow, oh, shit! Ah, it's too low. Yeah, it's a belly shot. It's alright. We readjusted. Dead. You're dead. Is that all of them? There's one. Oh, yep. Okay, we're good. We're good. Alright, so now as long as we don't die, they will not respawn. So, it's very beneficial to get rid of them. Because you'll, you'll just forget, and they just pelt your ass with snowballs the entire level. Uh, go around and collect all the goodies. There's a bunch of shit up top. We'll get up there eventually. Really, I hit them because I'm going to do this Christmas tree thing right now, and uh, this one guy would just kick the crap out of me if I hadn't if I hadn't killed him. And then once you're flying and taking them out, you might as well take all of them out. Uh, yeah, I'll grab this token. This, this part's pretty fucked up, um, so if you have a weak stomach, watch out. All right, we got the Twinklies, right? Twinklies are like, what up? We're the Twinklies. We're going to light this tree. We need to get whatever, 20 of us in there or some shit like that. Watch out for the munchies. Munchies, they eat Twinklies. Oh, they're killing them. They're killing them. Oh, it's only 10. Alright, this- I have really, like, done a bad job of timing this. Because they always pop up on the same speed, and I have not gotten one single guy, like, through yet. There we go. There we go. Oh, god. Those first couple Twinklies sacrificed their lives. Oh, the crunching! The crunching! It's maddening! No! 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 You're killing them! We're good, though. You know what you call that? You call it acceptable losses. The mission was accomplished. The tree can now be lit. And we'll remember them forever. But man, those first seven, they walked into hell. Go, 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 go! What do you do next? I don't know. Fly through it, I guess? Sure.
Oh, we flew through it. What else? I don't know. It's Nintendo. Do it two more times. We did it. We did it. Oh, you know what? While I'm up here, let's smash this fool's belly. Ooh, that was, that was almost dick region. Okay, you need to go out and come back. There we go. I'm just chilling with some OJ and vodka. See, this is where you just spam the feathers just to fly your ass like way up. Duh. Huh? Okay. And so Banjo slips in the snow. He's a slippy silly bear. But Kazooie, she's got shit locked down. So she doesn't slip and slide. She's even more of a reason to use the patented Talon Trot. Alright, so we got all that. Then we want to drop down to here. Uh, then we want to... Get over on this broom. There is a stranded Jinjo over here. Next, we want to make it into his corn cob pipe. Because he's smoking that shit! No, the shit he's smoking is a jiggy, in fact. Get that. And then, we gotta go back down anyway. Let's just blast this drunk, you know? This drunk father. Boom! Oof, dog! And now, we saved him, he feels better, he can go home to his kids. Nope! 180! I'm going to the big sled race or something, you piece of shit! Kid's still at home screaming. No father, no presents. This guy's going to the big race, in which there are no competitors yet. Because, surprise, I'm both competitors. One, through the magic of being transformed into a walrus. And then after a walrus kicks his ass, he goes, Alright, I, I guess I'll race this stupid bear. And then we beat him with the speed shoes. We haven't yet. But we will. Look, the ants, I mean termites are back. It's also weird, so there's three presents, because there's three kids, but the game says one every time you pick it up, because I, I guess the presents are different, but essentially defeats the purpose of quantifying how many presents you have when you get one, one, and one, and not, you know, one of three. It's just kind of weird. Just want to thank everybody once again. Everybody that's showing up. You know, maybe you're watching the VOD of this. You know, you're not. Anyone here isn't. I understand that. But in the future, it will be a VOD. Until it disappears and I don't bother saving it and re-uploading it. Which I imagine is going to be the fate of most of my streams. You, I mean, like, I'm barely streaming. Let alone saving these damn things and uploading them. But... If you're here now, thanks for watching. Thanks for spending your Sunday with me. Anybody who's subbed or... Gifted subs or donated bits. Um, thank you very much. And all just, you know, just doing your part to what I like to call the road to 60. It's um, a 60,000 uh, su subscriber goal is what we're working towards, you know. And it's, it's not, it's not going to happen overnight. I understand that. It could take, it could take months. But overall, I think that's where we, as in me, myself, and, you know, we as a community of mashers and suckers is what our, um, just kind of what our, you know, what's on the horizon. Something, you know, that's like, it's a big goal, but an attainable goal. So, thanks to everybody out there who's, you know, helping pursue that dream. Um, you know, just like hashtag road to 60. You can put 60k if you want. I just say road to 60 because I like to be vague. 
you know, maybe trick people into thinking, oh, 60 subscribers, I can help out, and then they find out it's 60,000, and they get violently upset, they get ill, there's vomiting, they're shitting their pants. But at that point, they've already subscribed. I mean, granted, next, like, next, like, the, they've canceled immediately, so... It's not gonna re-up next month, but, you know, for that, for that month at least... We're good. I'm, I just got so much health... That I didn't need. Uh, and then we just have to go up one more time, because... There's a very satisfying pattern of... Jiggy Feather, Jiggy Feather, Jiggy Feather, or notes, they're not Jiggies, they're musical notes. Uh, but like, Note Feather, it's like, oh, because they're yellow and red, I got it. It kind of hurts my eyes, but at the same time, I love the aesthetics of it. Somebody, somebody when creating this game went, dude, 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 We make the scarf red and yellow. We make the, oh, yeah. Put a note on every yellow, put a feather on every red. Fuck yeah. Then he finished doing his mountain of cocaine. And went and then and then recorded the lines for Blubber. <laughs> People did that. People got into the booth and went, <laughs> and then and then someone directed it and went, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh my god, this game's gonna be a fucking hit. This walrus. HATES BEARS! HATES THEM! Fucks off. Not even like goes home, but just blocks the door to his home. And he's like, GET AWAY FROM ME! He can't get in! This is, uh, one of the few levels, if not... Well, not the only level, because the last level is like that, too. Where you have to become the animal. What's a walrus in this level? Do what you're supposed to do, and then turn back. Because, um, Boggy... He only races Banjo after he's already been bested by a walrus. And then he lowers his standards to his own species? And there's also nothing for the walrus to do outside of this level, so... Which I think is the only... ...transformation in the game that, that doesn't do anything outside the level. So... Bit of a shame. I think I just gotta grab these notes, head over to Mumbies, and then the walrus roots. You can fly there, that's how. There's like a path in every level to not take damage, so there is to fly. That's why there's boots only on the island so you can leave. But you think I'm gonna go get a flight pad to. Like, fuck that. Just jump in the water, asshole. I don't care about your problems. I got five guys coming, dude. Okay. Man, the number of times I've played this game and have never been turned into um, a washing machine is astounding. Because I think it's a very slim chance. I don't think there's parameters to it. I could be wrong. From what I understand, it's just any chance ever, like or like any time you transform, there's a chance. Maybe, maybe that's not true. And it's only like a certain level or a certain point in the game, and that's why I don't usually see it. But if it happens on this stream, I'm just saying, that'd be a time to go nuts. You know, that'd be a time to be like, Whoa, fucking poggers! Wah! I've only got two transformations left. So. I'm just, gi I'm giving you an out. You know, I'm giving you an example of like, hey, you, you know, you don't know what's happening with this piece of shit game that's... 22 years old that you don't care about. But if this thing happens, it's kind of a big deal. Did I ever get the one between his legs? I must have, because I don't see it there. It happened to you in Rusty Bucket Bay. Motherfucker, you don't transform in Rusty Bucket Bay. So what kind of crack are you smoking? There's no mumbo jumbo in Rusty Bucket Bay. Maniacs out here in the chat. I'm just saying. It's wild. He would have said duh huh.
Wait, no, it's the factory level. Well, yeah, that's Banjo-Tooie, and you only turn into the washing machine. That's... That's scripted in the game. That's a lot less, you know, of a big deal is when you turn into what you're supposed to turn into. I understand the confusion. I'm just saying, in this game, not Banjo-Tooie, it's like, whoa! Stop and swap! Yeah, this is where the ice key is. Um, hey, fuck you, Ice Cube! Dude, this walrus, he's all love. He's got no way to fight. I'm sorry, Reginald. I didn't mean to come at you, but you were just saying crazy shit. Rusty Bucket Bay. Where's, where's Mumbo hiding on that level? You're blowing my mind. I, I glossed past it, but again, everyone's an asshole. I walked in here and the walrus is like, oh, thank God, another walrus. Yo, fuck that stinky, ugly bear. And you're just like, damn, dude. You don't know what he's going through. That's... Fuck. Uh, okay, so that's the last Jinjo. I think I'm good. I just gotta do the race. And then I'm done with the walrus. your name even Reginald how many lies are you living it's not Jesus Christ Fuck. I don't even know you anymore nightmare I dinked my mic sorry nightmare handing out subs thanks dog and thanks from all the people you're gifting subs to so I don't know if it works this way in this game but in Banjo-Tooie, there are two races, and they're way more annoying because they're button tappers, right? Where you're just like in a minecart or some shit like that, and it's button tapping. But the way the game is designed is if you're winning early on, the AI gets faster and faster, so it's hard as shit to win at the end. But if you suck ass early on and like don't do anything like if you don't tap you still move just very slowly it makes the ai easier so then like halfway through the race or in the like the last third you can then start tapping like a normal human being and you just blow them out of the water i don't know if this race works like that as well but i usually do that because knowing that in banjo 2e in my own head i'm like outsmarting the game like i don't know if boggy gets faster if if you're winning and he gets slow if he's winning but it, it essentially whether it works or not it doesn't matter for shit for the entirety of the race essentially this point right there going down that slope is where it matters where you want to pass him because it's just right there is the end and when you do pass him he goes oh and kind of slows down so that's all you're really working towards you need him to go oh and then like you know, depression overtakes him, he gives up, and then you win the race, and then rob him of his money. Alright, so, I've got... Three Jiggies left. I've got the race, I've got, like, the second race with Banjo, I've got the Jinjo, which is in the Walrus Cave, and I've got, uh, the presents for the Chillin'. I think I have all the presents. Boy, I certainly haven't been paying attention. But again, it's a game where as long as you go everywhere, you'll get everything. So I think I'm good. And I assume I already picked up the, the honeycomb because I know one of the uh, one of the snowmen drops it. Yeah, okay, we got two already. This We're actually we're on track to potentially finish this faster than the last level. I'm not going to say it's going to happen just yet, because it might not. But I'm just saying, could happen. And when I go back to the walrus, uh... Metal Man! Five gift subs. Thanks, dog. That's fucking metal. Somebody said, by the way, forever ago when I was talking about the washing machine, that you can type, like, wishy-washy into the, um, 
the floor of the sandcastle. And I don't know if you can't get it without doing that, or that just makes it more likely. I honestly don't remember. It's, it's possible that it doesn't happen without that. I thought it was just like a random chance thing. Not you type it in and then it's a random chance thing. But you're right because I completely forgot. There's a bunch of shit you can do in there, right? Am, am I wrong? Isn't there like you can do like big head mode and shit like that? Or is that just in like Banjo-Tooie? I think there's a couple of stupid, like, there's Cheetos cheat pages, which are quote-unquote cheats, but they're they're essentially unlockables in the game. Um, and then there's just some weird shit. Fuck, dude, that wasn't even that far. But you force it by typing the code. See, I don't want to force it. I just want to, I want to get it by random. The cheat unlocks the ability to use all abilities while turning into a washing machine. Okay, let's see. Um, there's cheats that let you get eggs and keys early. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's that's right. You could get crap like that, too. Yeah, I don't care about any of that crap. All right, so there's the Jinjo. Give me my Jiggy. See, there's the ice key. See it? See back there? Look! Look at it. Oh, dude, back on N64, people were blowing their brains out over how to get like, uh, it must do something. Turns out, no, it doesn't. Man, you could have just taken it out of the game, Rare. <laughs> like, ah, it doesn't do shit. Fuck it. Leave it in there. I mean, I guess they thought it was going to do something in Banjo Tooie and then essentially came to the conclusion of like, ads. Ah, fuck that. It's too much work. I'm not doing that. Uh, okay, so yeah, just. Just the race and the presence. I think we're good. This is nice too because it gets you around faster. Worth it. Just worth it. Bash my brains in. I don't care. I think this is the only time where the shoes aren't timed. They they sh they just last for the entirety of the race. And again, just stay behind him until the very end, because when you pass him, he goes, hmm, the depression sets in. And then you, you win. You take his money. And then he tucks his tail between his legs. Um, oh, shit. Well... No. Oh, at least it warps him back to the beginning. Damn, dude. Whoa. That was like the first failure of this entire Let's Play. Thank God it was near the beginning of the race. I was just letting him feel better just a little bit. You know, he doesn't have five guys coming. I gotta hurry up and finish this, though, because I need to be done before they get here. I'm gonna eat the shit. Out of that. I got the double, which is regular there, because they don't fuck around. You know, a little cheeseburger is just a regular single burger. I don't know if it's quarter pound or, you know, whatever the hell the size is. Um, but a regular is double. I slapped on a third burger, because I was like, Daddy's hungry, okay? I want triple meat, I want triple cheese, and the baby, baby Cajun fries. Throw some grilled onions on there, lettuce. Mushrooms, mustard, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Any place that has mushrooms, get the mushrooms. Whataburger, get the mushrooms. All right, now I'm gonna fucking depress this fool. See ya! Your kid's money is mine! Doe! I'm off to look for my kid's presents. One, I'm glad now, after losing three jiggies, you've decided to do that. Now that you have no excuses left. Two, I already found him. No, there's not gonna be a five guys mukbang, but I can I can do like a like a visual bang. Like I am gonna mute my audio, but you can watch me eat and watch it spill all over my face. Well I make a mess. Holy shit. I almost missed that. I just kinda want Eric here. Like I wanna mute my audio and just have Eric go, oh, I'm so little. But 
Hopefully I have all the presents. I can't imagine why I wouldn't. But we're gonna find out right now. Yo, here's one of one. Yo, here's one of one. Oh, shit! Shit ass! I don't know where it is. Where the hell is it? Well, now I just fucked it. We probably would have... Okay, get, add 30 seconds. I probably... I would have beat Bubblegoob Swamp, but now I'm not. Let's see. So I got it in the Christmas tree, and I got one... I think there's one in the Christmas tree, there's one in the snowman, and there's one on the, uh, like on the scarf, I think, or down on the bottom somewhere. And I must have just blacked out and didn't get one. Honestly, I think we should just leave. Like, fuck you. You don't get one, dude. That's life. I'm just gonna fly around looking for it. If I'm fast enough, I can still beat Bubble Goop. But I'm less concerned about beating Bubble Gloop and more concerned about beating the Five Guys uh, driver. Ah, you fucking moron idiot. That defeated the whole purpose of getting the feathers. He touched the ground. Where's this kid's present? It's one of those things where, like, I could not tell you off the top of my head where it is. He just... It's a no-brainer. I'm pretty sure I got one up here. So my... My gut would tell me it's down on the ground somewhere. I looked at the chat for a second. You fu you guys fucked me. You fucked me. I recovered, so naturally I didn't take damage, but... You fucked me up a little bit. Where the fuck is it? Yo, I think this game's broken. I think it's not in the game anymore. Damn, dude. That sucks. What are the odds you stream a broken game? You know? Like... I mean, I definitely got the one in the tree, right? Am I a moron? I'm gonna fly my ass up here real quick. Yep, there it is. There it is. It's on the fucking nose! Shit! Come on, Five Guys is coming! Go, 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 go! We can still beat the level! Can we? We might not be able to. Let's check it. I'm gonna miss it by seconds. Seconds. And then you're pounding? What are you doing? No, we can do it. 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 Don't count. If Don't count. Nobody count. Stop counting. Stop counting! Thirty oh nine. Damn it! No! Fuck! We were close. Damn. Hey. Oh yeah, I also <laughs> I forgot to give him the present. I didn't even deliver it. <laughs> I didn't give the kid his fucking present. Oh fuck. Oh dude. I gotta go collect them again! I gotta collect all the presents again! <laughs> I... I... I went to, to skim off five seconds, and now I've just added eight more minutes. Hey, one of the presents... I'll tell you this. I know this. One of the presents is up top. It's in the... It's on the nose. So... Yeah. Dude, I hope one of the presents wasn't in the, um... Oh, no, it's in the Christmas... Oh, I got it. Do I have to turn the tree on again to get... No, 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 you don't have to turn it on to get in there. 
Okay. It's already on, though. It's weird. Some shit stays, but not all of it. Oh, hang on. Can I take up? Okay, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna disappear for a second. I'm gonna keep playing though. I gotta, gotta take a phone call. Hang on, hang on. Shit! Be right back. Now we're back. Crisis is averted. It's fine. Nothing to see here! Dude, I'm glad it was just the presence. Because that could have been... If I had to do walrus shit, I would have been pissed. God damn, that's too funny. <laughs> I just looked over and I saw someone say, What about the presence? <laughs> Ugh, shit, right. That's so wrapped up. At the time. No! Stop! Stop! Just use your goddamn legs! Alright, here we go. Left into the igloo. A one for you. A one for you. And what's this? Let me walk around the table. One for you. We stole this from Dad's nightstand when he was out drinking. Ba da ba da boop. Whoa, sing, girl. Thanks for all the gift subs. Hey, right, let's check my totals before I leave again here. Remember when it was three seconds off? It's gonna be a little more realistic now. Okay, three minutes. That's fine. You know what though? You know what? Makes sense, though. Because when historians find this, they'll be like, okay, the level should progressively get harder. 14 minutes, 21 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, 33 minutes. If that time was less, who knows what could have happened. I, I, I blacked out. I got both things, right? Yeah, I did. Both um, hunting goats. So this one can be annoying. Again, just because of the camera angle. And for, you know, for timed stuff, they're usually pretty lenient. But this one, they decided to be real Scrooge. So to get the Jiggy from the Grunty Switch in this level, you gotta go all the way up here. You gotta hit a button. Um, you don't even need that. That's just there for fun. But uh, the button is here. Okay. It's all really dependent on this jump and the camera angle. Perfect. Nailed it. So as long as I actually broke the fucking web. Okay, I did. It should be good. That is like very, you know, I got, I did that perfect and I got there at one second. That can take a couple tries. The only way to fuck that up now is if you don't keep mashing A and you touch the floor in here. Because then that's really like, oh, cool. Come on. Or if, like, you don't have enough red feathers is also pretty tragic. But We're past basically all the filth, save uh, Rusty Bucket Bay, I think. That's level five, Dunzo. Head on back to Gobi's Valley. Shout out to Pigeon Studios, by the way, in the chat. Um, people are asking. They, in fact, are the music person, music people. 
Pete and Jen. They do any of the uh, crazy remixes you may have heard. Specifically, I think somebody's talking about the Face Jam mix. A lot of work. A lot more work than the shows themselves are. I just eat shit and talk about it. They made real content from it. Also make t-shirts. What's awesome is, so, so, um, if you've seen the Extra Life poster this year, is the, um, it's like the paintball wall. The official poster, and there's gonna be a couple different variants of it. But the year we did that, um, Pete and Jen actually made a shirt of, like, Gavin and I silhouetted against the wall. I think that's what it was, like, getting shot. So, like, you guys were ahead of the curve. I have that shirt. I think it's, like, a blue... Fuck! I like it. I'm... I only, I only wish they gave you health after these levels. Because now I'm, like, almost dead. Um... Okay, what's that? What's in there? I thought I saw... <laughs> That's a mumbo token in there. I'm gonna pause for a second. Where's my goddamn food? Five minutes. I'll tell you, we failed to beat the bubble gloop swamp time, but we crushed this this food delivery. So this, if you've noticed, because I don't think I've hit one yet, it's got health inside it, but tis surrounded by bees. So once you go near it, they attack. So just, you know, it's something to be aware of. Oh, there's a guy right here, too. I knew I knew he was back there, just chilling. Blending in. This is world six of nine. No need for those shoes there at all. They don't serve a purpose. There's no jiggy to get or anything. I mean, I'm, it's fine. I'll use them. It makes me run faster, but... One of the very few things in the game where there's a, a power-up that's not needed for anything. Oh, now I'm just fucking melting. Can I get out of the... It's not just quicksand, but it's hot! It's hot sand. It's so, like these boots right here. These boots are here so you can get all this crap. There's an extra guy that I don't need, but I'm gonna get anyway. It's a forced cancel, because I didn't think I'd have enough time to go through here, so I canceled it. I re-upped on my boots. Shit! I looked at the chat and I missed it. Just walked right past it. You saw me. You saw me looking. You saw me whiffing. Didn't learn my lesson, though, because I did it again. Uh, okay. So a lot of, there's a lot of pyramids or sphinxes or, you know, things of that nature to open in this. So it's good to kind of do it one at a time. Dude, I don't know what I'm going to do with Dead Space. Because honestly, that really pissed me off. Because I started it, I was doing part one, and it was kind of just like, I don't know. The stream was over, but I wanted to keep streaming. But fucking, then my spectrum kept cutting out. It was really annoying as shit. I know nobody else doesn't give a shit of like, he lost, he missed 17 seconds of footage, but like, it annoys me. Even on the VOD, it's a bunch of like, fucking seven minute parts, because my internet kept going out. So I was like, I don't know. I don't even know that I'm going to continue it. It's not the top of my list. And then I'm like, if I continue it, do I start over again? But then less people probably care about that than the people that cared about the internet going out. So I probably won't. But... I, I would not expect that to be something I'm going to continue any anytime soon. I've got Crash to continue. And I'm actually a little more interested in starting Bioshock. I just didn't feel like starting it that night. But, um... Hardcore Dead Space 1 and 2. Well, that's not an option in Dead Space 1. That's not a game type, so... Hardcore is if you die, the whole game resets, and you only have three saves the entire game. Now that was an achievement in Dead Space 2. One of the hardest achievements I ever got. Probably. But I don't think it's an option in Dead Space 1, so it would have to be like a self-imposed thing. Um, but I never, I, I intended to do Bioshock and I never did it. I did like two parts and never finished. So, I think long term, as an actual 
entire game that I would stream. I think Bioshock is actually pretty likely on the list. I, I did a poll the other night about what game to play, and Bioshock won, and then I ignored it and did Dead Space anyway. So I think that was kind of like... That was my punishment, is that my internet decided to keep cutting out. But yeah, I'm basically trying to juggle just playing either... I, I haven't streamed Among Us personally yet. I, I imagine I will at some point. But it's mostly just alternating between Fall Guys with the TIG Out crew and um, solo games. So my, my goal, if you've, if you've just joined me for the first time or haven't been watching my streams, my goal is to do one a week. And I've, I've I think, consistently done two so far. But... I, I can't promise that'll happen every week, but um, my goal is to do at least one stream a week, and then if I can do a bonus one, cool. So so this was the planned stream, and the bonus one was Friday that I just happened to play a bit of Fall Guys with the crew, because uh, we enjoy that game. And I, I do enjoy streaming. I just... Um, I don't enjoy a lot of aspects that go hand in hand with streaming, um, like, like, all like the guy have the alerts and the graphics and the you know, the constant shoutouts and stuff. And like, I understand that's that's what it is mostly now. But I'm gonna do that. So I feel like as long as I can set that expectation that I'm not gonna do that, I don't want to trick people into being like, why didn't he do this thing? But after me not doing that thing for so long people are going to go either I hate this or that's fine and then I'm cool then it's like sweet I kind of want to just play the game that's why I, I drew my be right back card in MS Paint with, with crayon because honestly I'll be right back you don't need anything more than that now if you have a graphic that's cool if people have that stuff that's cool but it's certainly not a thing that's essential it's kind of like, well, what's essential is that you play a game and hopefully it's enjoyable and hopefully people enjoy watching it. And I'm more really concerned about that. Fuck! Oh, I got three. I got three. I got three Combs. I got three James Comies. Uh, and the other thing is the schedule. You know, a lot of people that stream do it three, four nights a week. There's no way in a thousand years I'm ever going to be doing that. But if people are okay with me streaming once, maybe two times a week, then that that's cool. I'm happy. I'm happy that I can do it and, and people like watching it and there's no, like, greater expectation. I just say, like, if you're streaming, do whatever you want. I don't want to, like, you know get into the you gotta do that. I do want to get emotes because that's just I feel like wasted opportunity like I understand if you subscribe you should get emotes because it's a feature and I'll I'll get them I haven't navigated that yet I don't even know what I want yet but that will be a thing so don't worry about that other than that I don't really give a fuck Go B, brother! A oh, Wawa emote. That wouldn't be bad. I also don't want to reuse shit. You know? There's a lot of shit that I've done over the last 10 years that would understandably make a perfect emote. But they're not, they're not from my stream. I want to make my stream emotes stuff from my streams, you know? And so I haven't had that many yet. Like, a banjo-related thing would, would make sense, at least, because it's I'm a loser, and that's pretty oriented into me as a person. Another thing would be Resident Evil. That was actually three years ago when I when I started streaming. Um, and I had subs for a very brief time. Uh, I actually had Andy design my, my sub badge. And uh, it was the... It was the... Uh, Raccoon City, like, stars emblem. And so there it says stars, which is, like, the uh, special tactics and rescue squad or some shit like that it stands for. 
But mine, I can't remember. I think I made mine subs, and the the logic was like super, uber something other. I invented some dumb uh, abbreviation for it to make sense. But I probably wouldn't reuse that now. I also like I could do banjo stuff, you know, where I could just make it like a jiggy or something. But I gotta imagine other people have that of the 50 million streamers in the world. Somebody just has like a jiggy. I, I thought that was Kazooie's face, and it wasn't. It was that one. I'm doing very bad on this memory match. My memory is not good. I think my food's also been delivered. So after I uh, lose this, <clears throat> I'm gonna go get it. Fuck! Really bad. I don't remember where the egg was. Oh, it's over here somewhere. Forget about it. I like that he says he wants the emotes to be from stream references and people still keep referencing things not from streams, lol. That's, you know, welcome to the internet. Oh, you know what you just said? Fuck you. How about this? <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> You're 100% correct. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. How about a rage quit emote? Alright, well, shit. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause here. This shit's I'm really sucking it down now. I'm gonna pause here. Probably gonna go potty again. Uh, but I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna go get my food. I'm it, okay, either got delivered or they sent me a message saying, fuck off. We destroyed it. It was a suspicious package at the airport. We took it outside and blew it up. So I will be right back. All right, he's back, everyone. He's back. He's back. Look at this wet sack. 
This wet sack of food. Look at it. No, it's not raining outside. That's just the grease. Stinky, st like good stink, but stink. It's a Cajun stink. There's a sticker on here that's I'm coming to terms with. Yep, okay, so here's the small fries. There is at least this many or more fries filled into the bottom of the bag. Because they don't care. You, see, you say small and they get angry. They get fucking angry at you. So now... Oh, let's take out this fucking monster. Look at this guy. Look at this right here. Look at this fat... Goddess. Ooh, it's hot. Oh, it's wet. It's so cheesy. This is a Five Guys burger. Look at that. Look at the cheese drip. Look at that drip. Fuck yeah. All right, now I'm going to leave the camera up so you can watch as I shove it into my mouth. But I'm going to mute my microphone. It's insane. It's huge. And I understand that. The triple. Like, it's far too big to fit in my mouth. Holy shit. It's delicious. It's so good. If you got a Five Guys near you, or they can deliver to you, I recommend it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, man. I wish I had something else to play while I just ate it. Because it's, um, it's so good, and I just want to keep eating it, but, like, I don't want to sit on the pause screen. What are we going to do, you know? I don't know what the solution is. I'm putting, you guys, I'm crazy. I'm not doing any of that. Um, hmm, let me think. Give me a second. I'm thinking. Okay, hang on. Give me... Hang on. Give me one second. I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try something. We'll see if it works. I, by the way, absolutely hate them. I, um, how am I doing on my, on my health here? I'm all right. 
I absolutely hate those things more than anything in this game. Like, I almost just stopped playing because of them. Um, what does it say? Dear Courtney, those bastards are looking for me. But maybe that gives you a chance to escape. To escape, you have to find the relief shaped like dog heads. I know I sound like a plum, dumb, crazy fucking fool. But I saw one of those heads in the dissection room underground. Get it? It's the key on out of here, you stupid sack of crap. Oh, uh, Michael says hi. How's Michael doing? Michael's still uh, enjoying uh, enjoying some, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Banjo-Kazooie? He's, he's eating some stuff. Michael Jones has just rated me, kinda. Gotcha. And thanks for those. Uh, thanks for that hydrate. Let, let me let me hydrate. I gotta open on the, the fucking thing. Oh, open the hard thing. Hard Spark hard Quays are nine months sub. Thank you, dude. Let me drink. Let me drink. Hold on. He's playing banjo. Still nice. All right. Um, I'm gonna put these in here because they're just taking up inventory space. So is this, but I might need, I, that seems stupid to get rid of. Hang on. Let me, let me make some of that. Make some of that. Get rid of that chem fluid. And I'll put this up just so I can have some space. Matt. Mm. Demon Volk, thanks for those bits. All right, let me write in my fucking tape recorder. No, dude, Anubis, you need the knife. If I don't have the knife, how am I going to randomly stab <laughs> shit? Gabri girl. <laughs> Thank you for those bits. Uh, my cameo. I do. I had a song in the age musical. Well, yo, Michael, I hope you're enjoying your burger. Dude, I, I do. I actually I'm I'm really excited because I actually want to watch Michael play Banjo. -Kazoo. Holy shit, nightmare. <laughs> I want to watch Michael play Banjo Kazooie. I remember watching him doing the full play like a long ass time ago. Dude, I just like I you would never get me down here. I would be dead before I got. Oh, hey man, are you done? Okay, I'm done eating. Hang on, give me a second. I hope Matt entertained you for that brief moment. Oh, my fries! I knocked over my fries! Hang on. Yo, I inhaled that as fast as possible. Matt's a nice guy. I'm sure he'll... I'm sure he'll be like, Oh, that's cool, man. Hang on. Hang on, I'm struggling. Give me a second. Give me a second. We're navigating, we're navigating, we're navigating, and... We're back. Just like nothing happened. Oh, shit, it's too loud. Hang on. I forgot I adjusted the audio there. Hang on. And we're back and we're sounding right. I ate that entire burger. <sighs> I'm just letting it settle there. I, from what I understand, Matt really wants to watch my Banjo Kazooie playthrough. So that's cool. He'll be surprised when he's watching it and then he's watching his own stream. Yeah, I can't speed run this game, but I could speed run that fucking triple cheeseburger, baby. It's like a meteorite in my gut now. Dude, that was so good. It it what the only thing that took away from its goodness slightly is how quickly I ate it because I was in a rush. But um other than that, I mean, it was fucking delicious, dude. Whew, I feel hot. Does anybody else feel hot? Does anybody else getting the, the, getting heat flashes? What's up? You donning? Somebody's back from Dontanamo Bay. Oh. Yeah, I've got menopause, Shirsten. That's what is. I put the men in menopause, baby. One more fry. I know you're not here for this, okay? 
but I had to eat. Um, I got five guys regular, which is double cheeseburger, extra meat, extra cheese, onions, or grilled onions, mushrooms, mustard, lettuce. Huh. It was tasty. Can we make a new drink? My Xbox is falling asleep. I apologize for the dim image. Food rating. Shit, out of 100, I would rate it an 88. It was delicious. Five Guys, very good burger. Very good Cajun fries. It's, uh, it's good. They're, they're one of those chains, I think, that really... Um, they cross that threshold from fast food into real, you know, real food or burger food. Which, like, it's it's hard enough to say because they don't have a drive through you know? And that alone sets you apart, but... God damn, I just said what I got on the burger. Please! Five Guys or Pete Terry's? Five Guys, 100%. I like Five Guys way more than... I'm, I like Pete Terry's, but, like, for comparing the two, it's no question. Oh, but I'm definitely... Uh, my, like, spice allergy is kicking in. I got an itchy nose. Everybody's gonna think I went and did bathroom bumps during my break. Because now I'm going to be fucking scratching my nose for the next two hours. And I did do a bathroom bump break, but that has nothing to do with it. That's what I'm saying. Alright. Back to the game. Enough fucking around. When's the last time I had Jersey Mike's? Yesterday. <clears throat> I had the Big Kahuna Chicken Cheese Steak. Because I'm watching my figure. I got chicken. hands are greasy as a fool. I just went in here. I've just... I'm fucking stupid. Bathroom breaks are slowing me down. Alright, that's right. I just started spitting eggs into this freak's mouth. That's where we left off. I don't know if it happened because I was busy eating, but I think if anybody... Uh, no, don't do that. If anybody subbed or gave bits during the time when I was streaming Matt, I think I have to give it to Matt now, legally. So sorry if you subbed during that time, because you're subbed to Axiom Matt now, not me. Well, don't give him bits. I mean, he's... Okay, hang on. I'm not... Hang on, stop. I'm not, I'm not saying go sub to Matt. Okay, it's the last thing in the world that I'm saying. Don't... Don't do that! Fuck. That burger was so big. Remember at the beginning when I showed it off and then I ate it all? Oh, fuck. Okay. So now this, unlike Bubble Gloop Swamp, is an actual maze. As in there's, you know, dead ends and shit. The only thing of note, I believe, in this entire maze is there's a Gruntilda switch that gets you a jiggy in the, in the hub that you need to make sure you get, which should be in the back right. Coming up on it, question mark, camera angle pan, there it is. I think that's it. I don't think there's any notes or gingos or any of that stuff. Eating that much that fast cannot be good for me. You are correct, but it is what I did. That was my only meal today so far and might be my only meal for the day. We got time left. Grabbing some notes on the way out. Check these pots. Fucking Jinjo hiding this pot. It's a thing. More things. Grab this. Whew. Fuck. Alright. I gotta get my head back in this game, because it's... It's loopy. Where the hell do you put the... 
can get water dumped in this fool at some point, and I can't remember how that happens. <clears throat> um, okay, so we did that one. I didn't fly through that yet. The honeycomb piece is up, which I believe... I can fly through with a cactus. I gotta hit the bullseye. I gotta run through there. I'm just naming everything I have to do, which is almost the entire level. Just in case you want. Okay, here's the water. The water comes out of this pool. It comes dripping out. Wet, like. I think that's also one of the very few buttons that's activated by stepping on it and not pounding it. Because you have to get these speed shoes in order to get up there in time. Watch this, you ready for this? This sick fucking shit right here? Keep going, no, shortcut! I almost walked off, but I didn't. Made it, made it. Can't believe it, but it's real. It happened. Down to the freaking wire, dude. Ow! No! Stop! Stop! <clears throat> yeah, I could have just left him. But they didn't have to come at me, you know? Oh, I also, I missed, I missed the skull that I don't think there's any way to ever get the mumbo token. Because it's right there and you got to swim to get it. So that's gone forever. So scratch that off the list. <clears throat> but now that there's Wawa on here, I can safely just dive right in, splish by sploosh, get the notes. There's one Jinjo down here, I believe, and... The mumbo token. Start the whole thing over? Yeah, it's probably it's probably a good bet. Oh damn. Five already. What's up? Why are you looking at me? Trying to start a fight? Classic. Classic fight starter. All right, I need to get up in the air and get, I can get the empty honeycomb. Oh, that's, yep, I knew that was, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh. And then I can get, uh, fly through the rings, those little statue dudes. Oh, Gobi's chilling at the beginning too. I gotta go beat the shit out of him. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. You're right. You're right, chat. I missed that note up there. Because I was in such a rush. I'm getting stabbed. Ah! Fuck! Ah! Got it. Turn! No problem. I need some health. That was a that was a lesson in never giving up and never learning your lesson. You see this beetle right here? Watch this guy. Come get me. No! Is it excessive? Yes. I didn't even know you could kill the bees. I've never seen that before. I've never... 
attempted to use the Wonder Wing on bees, but now you know they suffer. Um, that might be almost every, I know I have to go inside at least one more. Where are the boots? Boots back here? Yeah, there they are. I gotta go at least in one more pyramid or what have you because there's, there's one that's got a snake in it. Dude's like, got a flute, making a snake dance, and there's a G in there. And that might be it. That might be the last one that I need inside. I'm not sure. Okay, that's the... <clears throat> I need those boots for that, and then I need the speed boots for the other one. It should just be up here. What's up? What's up? No, he says. All right, so I've already got the Jinjo. I know I need to fly through the rings. And that's two. Man, I got two more somewhere. Shit. Oh, I haven't flown into the Kazooie one yet, have I? Which might be the snake one I was just talking about. It's like the big... Uh, this... That one right there, actually. It's got the big bullseye on it. I don't think I've schlepped. Oh yeah, and then the um, and then the tree. Okay. So the notes are really the only other thing I need. There's there's notes over by Gobi, and there's probably notes inside this Kazooie one I'm about to open right now. And that might be it. I'm trying to remember where the second honeycomb ring is. I'm blanking on that one because I'm stupid. Oh, you know what? No. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. I gotta do Gobi first. Oh, that's right. Yes, he gives it to me. I go beat the shit out of him. I get a Jiggy. I find him again. I kill him again. And then he gives me a honeycomb. That's what it is. And then he goes, I'm out of here. I can't, I can't live with this abuse. And so then he goes to another level. And then you follow him to that level and you kick his ass there. This is a real shady one for getting the notes in the corners. Because they're hidden by the camera angles and shoved in the corner of the room. Oh man, I'm missing five. I feel like there's not five where I need to go. <coughs> That's a Cajun fry of sneeze. All right, if there's five over there. Oh, there's, oh, whoo, I thought there was four and I almost fucking cried. But there's not, there's five. Okay, so, um, I gotta go back over, I went completely in the wrong direction. I meant to go back to the beginning. Yeah, this is just like a meh level. It's meh. Probably the most I've been, I'm indifferent about. <laughs> this tree's over here sucking down backwash.
I didn't have to go up at all. I pressed A for no reason. <clears throat> Dude, I was like in the background of that, lurking, just waiting, ready to strike. Get it! Dude, that burger is it's so thick in my stomach. Oh, it's so fat, it's weighing me down. It's like I'm at like 1.5 times gravity now. Here, get this. I got water. Don't hit the side. Shit. Shit! Alright, we recovered. It's fine. Boop, 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 boop. Missed. Missed. Suffer. Yo, this is straight bullshit. I'm out of here. I'm going to find some peace and quiet. You won't, though. I'll find you. I'll hunt you down. Hey, -o. I'm just waiting. I mean, I could just, I could just jump in, uh, but I'll wait. I'll take the detour. Holla bird for Grunty's lair. So I think that's it. I think that's everything. This felt shorter to me, but also it's hard to track time with the burger in the middle and the, like, you know, match stream and all that stuff. But I feel like it was shorter. I was right. <coughs> Shorter than the pre the two previous two levels. Shorter than Bubble Gloop. Shorter than Freeze Easy. We're out of here. If people look at that, they're gonna think I cheated. Oh God. Now I'm gonna feel all fat and bloated right before my favorite level. We're, we're killing it, though. Three hours and 40 minutes, and we've done six out of nine levels. Um, this next one will almost certainly be the longest. But I don't think it'll be too bad. Um, I haven't... I haven't assembled... Where the hell do you build the level, though? Is it up here? No, that's to Rusty Bucket Bay, though. I'm trying to think about it, actually. Where the fuck the level... Oh, I gotta, like, swim through the water and shit, I think. Let me just unload my ass into this thing. Oh, the sarcophagus jiggy. <gasps> did I open it? Did I hit this? I did hit the switch in the maze. Thanks for reminding me. That's, that's what escaped my brain. Dude, good save. I'll grab it on the way back. God, that would have fucking blown my mind at the end of the game when I was missing one Jiggy. I think I've consistently almost forgotten it every single level. So this is my favorite level, just for the aesthetic. It's also, I think, my favorite Mumbo transformation. And the cutest, for sure. Yo, back off. Back off, dude. What the, what the fuck? What's your problem, bro? What the fuck? Hmm. 
bad monster bedroom. Ah, shh. Do I need it? Not at all. Will I get it? Yep. <laughs> She's loving it. She's loving it. She's cackling. for a quick second to grab the jiggy that I missed. Ow. Die a little bit. <clears throat> uh, oh. Seven! Seven! on over to Mad Monster. So similar to the the Cheeto page that you had to uh, break the the ice ball with you have to break this open before you uh, exit the level, because you'll actually need the 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 mumbo spell for. You need it for one thing in there to progress to the next level, but then you also need it if you want to get the second Cheeto page. Oh, here we go. First things first, scale the building. I always start here. There's a couple of locked gates in this level that can be really annoying if you're on the wrong side of it. So I try to unlock those as, as early as possible, but again, I don't remember exactly. You kind of just get to a gate and go, oh fuck, the lock's on the other side. And if I'm not mistaken, most of these, most of the windows on the first floor are worthless. And the second floor is worthless until you transform. I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Yep. There's a shit-filled toilet. And that's really all we've got in here. And then I think the windows on the other side are... Uh, it leads to a room that's got small floorboards that I can't fit under. Yep. And so those paintings there are the second instance of those, the monsters I was talking about in Clanker's Cavern, where they they bust out and they, they chomp at you violently. But in this in this level, they're essentially the same thing. They're like the, the same like fish monsters, which is kind of weird because we're not it's not a water level anymore. But they're skeletons. See, well you didn't really see because they killed it. Here, I'll show you one. Nope, never mind. There's not one over there. Ghosts can't be killed, except with that. You just cut them down. Oh man, I do not have a lot of gold feathers. Alrighty. Whoa. J -j 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 Ginger, Ginger Lodeon. 
Alright. So, this first jiggy here, the only way you can get it is by not disturbing the ghost guarding it. So he's a sleepy ghost. Uh, but any, like, noises will wake him up, including the creaks of the floorboard. So you have to come through the chimney, and then platform over the chairs, and then I guess the table isn't that creaky, because you can just walk right up to it, and then you've done it. And now she's like, I'm gonna whoop your ass. So he just, he takes off. He is scared. He is frightened. He's out of here. This also serves very little purpose, except for... This. This is the only reason there's a flight pad in there. Which is weird. I, like, I, won't, I think almost in the entirety of the game, a flight pad signifies some sort of jiggy or something to collect. And in this case, they just go, eh, hey, get the extra life, I guess. I don't know, whatever. You can do whatever you want. And then, uh, we're done here. Now, watch this, right? You see the left and the right wall? There's nothing there. It's a pretty big space. You go on the outside, you look at the house. There's a window. Right here. You break this window and you think, I'm gonna jump into that room I was in. No, it's another room. How? No one knows. Doesn't make any sense. It's defies logic. But not only that, there's nothing in here. It's worthless. Oh, is a Mobo token in the fire? I'll go back for it. And I'm pretty sure there's another window on the other side that also leads to nothing. But I'm going to go in there anyway, because I'm not, I, I'm not certain. I mean, I, I am. I am certain. There's nothing in there. But just so you know that I'm certain. Eggs. Just a bunch of eggs. That's what was in here. Weird. Very weird stuff. Another, another bat. No. No. Fucking hell. This is a fight. This is a fight. We got it. We won. Eighteen eighty one. Good year. I guess. Working with some random crap. A Jinjo and a Jiggy. No wine. If you're coming for wine, loser. Oh, and a mumbo. Forgot about that guy. I think that's it. No, that's not it. Some some cheeky notes over here. Those would be a real ball buster if you were missing those. Yeah, and I, I, there's actually there's two eggs in this level for stop and swap, which is crazy because I don't even think there's one for every single level. There are some levels that don't have an egg, but this one has two, if I'm not mistaken. I think there's one in there, and there's one like on top of the toilet or something. Maybe I'm wrong, but I thought I thought this level had two. Okay, so I think that's it for the house, at least for now. There's a path over here. There's a there's a gate somewhere. But again, I don't remember what side is locked. But there's a bunch of shit in here. Notes and whatnot. Some ghosts and ghouls and goblins. Dead. <clears throat> I swear that ghost is trapped by that wall. I didn't think that would be an issue. I knew they were going to sting me transitioning to, to Talon Trot, but there was one left. So I can't escape here, because that's on the other side. I think that's on the... It's over there, like the church. It's also a weird glitch in this level where you play an organ in the church, but the, the game is glitched where every single note is the same sound. 
So it's kind of like the, the choir thing where you have to match what the AI is doing, but it's just eh, 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 it's the whole song. Yeah, you got five guys? Hell yeah. I mean, I, it's a glitch. Yeah, it's a fuck up because it's, you know, it's, I mean, it's like a musical instrument. The notes are supposed to sound different. Shit! This is also a thing. It really sounds like sometimes if you listen to it where he says, fuck you, he's saying thank you. But if you want, fuck you. Ready? Fuck you. Thank you. I love it. Fuck you. Thank you. Did I miss one? Where was it at? The what the fuck? Oh, here's another secret. It's nothing in here except some feathers. Oh, there might be golds. Yeah, there are. So it's. It's good. Golds are pretty useful in this level because you can't kill zombies or ghosts with anything but gold feathers. Because normally they're just kind of a convenience, but in this level, they're quite useful. Uh, oh, there it is. Three. Come on now. None of you. Come on now. Oh shit, my brain's out. Clutch save. I like that these these pads are ever changing, right? Like this one's so tiny. It's probably the tiniest one in the game. And I guess just because it doesn't fit like the design of the, of the the building, but there's just no rhyme or reason to the sizes on those things. Uh, okay, so I want to find, I guess the switch next. There's a switch somewhere. It's not in the maze. Then it's over that way, I think. Yeah, I think it's this way. I'll also do a... Wait, is it... Is it here? No, I don't think it is, but I do have to come here anyway. Oh, shit. These guys, you don't really have to murder them, because they're... Oh, it is this way. Um, because they're just... They're just chilling over here, and you're kind of like, whatever, man. You want to be skeleton dudes? That's fine. Oh, shit. It's all of them already? Yeah. want to do, climb on up here, or run, really, you know, climb upstairs, I suppose, slap this button, I missed, I missed, that's, well, that could cost me everything, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna make it. I got caught. 
fucking around. God, remember when I ate that burger? Holy shit. I also, what happened? I completely went past the door, or the, the section I needed to go in. It's this way. No, it's not. The fu- Whoa! Don't touch that! I ran way past it. Not only did the door close, but my brain closed, too. <clears throat> Alright, this time, let's try and get the sneakers, you know, first try. Might improve our score. There we go. There we go. Oh, now we're talking. Two. Wasn't even, wasn't even one. Oh. I don't even know why I said, do. like, I, uh, the timer ran out, but you, ma you made it, man. You won. Oh. These I, I kill because they're kind of annoying because you have to very slowly jump up here. There's one note per pew. So you're like, okay, run right over here. Fucking jump up here. Tall ass people. And just, you know, all the enemies are the size of me. And even the ghost, that ghost is a little bit bigger, but I wouldn't be sitting here. He wouldn't fit. Change. Okay. All right. Then we talked to the the master hand from Smash. What's up? This is slow. This is not hard at all, unlike the, the turtle thing where you have to memorize it. You just wait. Listen to this beautiful song. I looked away for a second. <laughs> it's not hard at all. Fuck, what was it? Oh, mm, beautiful song. Still going! And we're done. Wow! Oh, they're mighty fine. Which is another burger place, along with Smash Burger. I liked Smash Burger. You could get an egg on your burger there. And I did. It's very messy, but very delicious. My game definitely had the right sounds. I mean, it didn't if you're playing it on the Xbox. But potentially, uh, I, I think it was right on the originals. Uh, the originals? That's a CW show. But like, on the N64, I think they fucked it up on Xbox. 
it's universal. I don't think it's just a Michael thing. All right, now, this is important. There's two important things up here. Three, really, depending on how important you think they are. But there's the honeycomb. There's the, uh, the switch, I believe. Oh, it's on the other side. Yeah, the grunty switch. Oh, shit! I don't have any! I was like, I'll kill him with the feather I don't have. Uh, and then there's the Mobo token. He can bulk! It's like a different version of Hakuna Matata. Ikan bokum, ba da ba, what a wonderful phrase. All right. Um, stop. I'm gonna grab this because I have one. I'm gonna restock. fine. Well, the, the three important things are the, the switch and the honeycomb and the, and the mumbo token. Mumbo token being the least important. Okay, so I think I'm done with this whole section. I can now go... Oh, hang on. Peep these little guys in there. I can now go this way. Die. Shit up here. Shaq looks tiny, huge. Now, this might look familiar as the game where you have to spell Banjo-Kazooie in the sandcastle, but no, 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 it's very different. What you have to do is spell Banjo-Kazooie BACKWARDS! I think. Right? Am I right? Is it, is it backwards? No, it's not. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> you spell it backwards somewhere. Oh, it's in the, it's in the Grunty Game Show game at the end. That's what it is. It's one of the mini-games you might have to do. Oh, you fucking prick. Get on the cup, man. We're running out of time over here. It's down here. Pass. Pass. Are we gonna make it? Four seconds. Just want to add a little tension to this playthrough because, you know, it's been going so smoothly. No issues the entire time. Perfection. Oh, you can't see the timer? Well, it was close. I'm just telling you, it was, it's four seconds. So. Boy, that kind of ruins the suspense, huh? Now I look like an asshole. <laughs> So, now this one, I can get this Jiggy now, but I could also come back and get it with the, um, the Mumbo transformation. But it's not, it's not really necessary. As long as you don't get the crap picked out of you and you have some health to spare, which I don't have that much health. I've got five. But I'll give it a go. It, it can be kind of annoying in there. I'll say that. I'm going to kill this guy just to take his health before I go in there.
Who the fuck is bouncing? What is, what are you, what, what is, who is that? Okay, boots. All right, gotcha. I was like, I don't know what this is, but it's pissing me off. I just assumed you would get those with the, with the mobile thing. But you know what? If they're there, I'm going to grab them. Because again, I've got zero. Question would be how the f fuck do I get out? Get out! Get out! Get out, man! They're gonna eat you alive! All right. This is kind of annoying. The navigate these dudes with the with the the transformation i believe you fuck you don't have to swim so it's just a lot easier to like walk around Notes, two jiggies. Okay, I know where. I think I know where both. Two... I don't know where these notes are though. I'm gonna be honest. The notes I'm kind of lost on. Where the fuck am I missing sixteen notes? I'm trying to think places I haven't been. Probably some in Mumbo's hut, because I haven't been there yet. But there's definitely not that many. I bet I'm missing something. I'm I'm missing notes somewhere. Where the fuck am I missing all these notes? Hmm. Oh, you know what? I didn't do the third floor window smashes, did I? No, I think I did, though. Hmm. Well, they're not in here. I don't want to transform yet, because... There's... There's certainly some notes I know that I'm missing due... Due to my transformation. There's probably not that many. There's only... There's only two areas, I think. Three. Three areas? No, it could be all of them. I'll double check the windows, but it, it could be all of them. There's three areas that I haven't been, um, because of my transformation. It's, it's, well, it's the two, these two windows. One, I think, is, one is notes in a jiggy. The other is, um, the other honeycomb piece. And then there's another spot that's a jiggy. So there's two areas of notes. Yeah, here's a window smash I missed. There's two area of notes, but I, I feel like there's not that many. I could be wrong. There it is. There it is. Note City. And I was like, there's a couple, but there's not that many. That's better. 
It's like looking a little light there. Now we're talking. What up, new subs? Welcome to the Mashers. Once again, almost transforming, but knowing, sensing, feeling. Something was wrong, and it didn't follow through. Favorite transformation, boom, pumpkin. Not only is it cute, when you jump and move, your fucking little head pops off. It's more, it's more, it's closer to a jack-o'-lantern, I suppose, than a, than a pumpkin. Because it's got a face on it, but it's very cool, very cool stuff. Um, now this is the only thing where there's some, there's somewhere, as I mentioned very early at the beginning of the stream that I would get lost in the maze, and it's, it's this point with the pumpkin. Because there's somewhere he can go up, and I never remember where it is. In fact, I don't even think it's in the maze. It's, it's, I think it's like outside the maze. And I always think it's in the maze. And that's why I wander around the maze looking for it. And I can't find it because, you know, it doesn't exist. There's a little hole I can go through somewhere. It was probably right next to Mumbo's fucking hut. And I'm just an imbecile. Is it over here? No. Where the hell is it? Past it. Yeah. It seems like it. Cause it's like you gotta make the jump somewhere. Where are, where are you? Is it over here? Ooh, I've got this though. This isn't it, but I'll take that. I know it ends in the maze, right? Like the hedge maze. Everyone in the chat is wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. Everyone's saying, I've talked to the and It's like, I, I know that, but you have to go like, you have to go through a path to get up a ramp that takes you to the beginning. I understand you have to go uh, into the house. But you have to you have to jump through a wall to get into the hedge maze. A bunch of people don't know what the fuck they're talking about. I'm over here saying, listen, I don't know where it is. Then you got other people coming in going, no, it's over here! They don't, you don't know. It's gotta be over here somewhere. Fuck it. I'm going to the maze. There it is. This is it. Nowhere near anyone what anyone was saying. It's near the house. Nowhere near the house, you maniacs. Okay, so you drop in here. You get that. Well, I apparently didn't get any of these fucking... Gold feathies. <laughs> I'm too small. I'm small. Then we go around. Then we visit my good friend Lago, you know, the toilet, and we get flushed like a piece of shit. Alright, so now we're missing one Jiggy and five notes, and if I've done it correctly, they're in the same place. She's just like, yo, you went in that shithole. That's what she was in the middle of saying, and she's correct. Uh, then you want to come over here, in this little thing. 
down the drain, land there. Last note. One, two. I said it was jiggy. I said note. Bra 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 bra. That's everything. That's Mad Monster Mansion. And like I predicted, I would. I got lost finding that hole because my brain's always like, it's in the maze, but I know it's in the maze, but you don't. That was actually better than usual because I at least knew that it, the hole wasn't in the maze. It like ended up in the maze. It's by the church and everybody was screaming at me. It's by the house. It's jump in the house. Go in the house. I think I did miss the mumbo token that I said I'd go back for. Somebody mentioned it was in the fireplace, and I was like, I'll go get it, and I don't think I did, but I don't, I don't give a fuck at this point. I'm definitely not going to need it. So this is the only mumbo outside of the levels, and it's simply to turn you back into Banjo so you can break this casket, which is weird. You know, like, you have to be the pumpkin to, to get in here because the, the hole's tiny in the door. So it's like, it just seems a weird precedent that, you know, you could have just put this casket in here and not gave it a lid, and just made it a switch you could stand on and you didn't have to hit. Like there did like you made the game. You didn't have to program it where you needed to turn back into banjo. So I just find I find this one very bizarre. Then you turn back and you leave. Level one hype train! Holy shit! Is it because I fucking speed recorded Mo Mad Monster Mansion? Is that why? Um, uh, let's check my, my stats on that one. I was like, whoa, 31 minutes, and then I realized that was Grunty's Lair. It's not the level I just did at all. 32, not bad. Not bad. Faster than Freeze Easy Peak! I think we might, we might be able to beat that seven and a half. I'm just saying, I got, like, three hours left. And only two, 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 two levels. This is, this will be my first ever, like, play the game and beat it on stream. And it's an easy one. You know, these maniacs out there, they play these, you know, 24-hour games. I'm not doing that. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm starting small, because I'm a small little guy. Okay, don't fall in. You know, if you fall off, I don't know if you come back as the pumpkin or not. I think you do, but it would be tragic if you didn't. Cheat number two! Please don't shove me. You know what? I'll talk to just this one. This will be the only information I retain. Her bedroom has dirty undies hanging from the ceiling. Remember that. That might be a question. Fuck. De that's my only death in the entire game so far. <laughs> Don't worry, though. I'll get some on this next level. For sure. On Rusty Bucket Bay. Um, But it did save me a little bit of time. It was actually like a little bit of a shortcut. We gotta go up. So, we hit that switch that raised the water level near Rusty Bucket Bay, which enables us to get to the puzzle to create the level opening and get in there. Um, I think I opened, I think I did this. Double check. Yeah, we're gonna activate it. But, what's fascinating now is the water level raises past the door. So while I'm standing on dry land, I walk through the door, I'm in water. And it's confusing. Feel like that shouldn't be possible. 
72% of the hype train? Listen, you guys tried. Okay, never mind. 97%! Five gift subs? This fish is nibbling my nuts. He's hyped. Ah, 100%. Ah, yeah, confetti. Pew, 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 pew. And there's that emote of that guy who's like, it's a Twitch thing. I don't know who I don't know who that guy is. Fuck, fuck! I looked over. Watch, watch me look, and then I got eaten. Damn it! Holy shit! Ten gifts. Ten gift subs. Like Santa Claus. Tis the season. Thanks, dogs. You know, just for that level 2 hype train, I'm gonna raise the water to level 2. You get this hype train to level 3, I'll bring the water to level 3. Watch out, I'll do it! <laughs> yup. Get hype, get wet. I like that, that's good. This is another classic misdirect. Whoa! Hype! Level 2 complete! Because I don't think... Yeah, there's nothing over here. I know there isn't. You go over here, and all it does is it shows you the other side, which is... Mad Monster Mansion. It's like, look, see that level you opened up already? All right, well now I gotta get it to water level three because I promised that. And this is this isn't something I normally that I would do, but promise is a promise. I will now commence. So what you want to do now? Right. Oh, and now we can reach this this little guy. Which goes back to the very beginning, I believe. Oh, no, 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 no. Very beginning is the one in Click Clock Wood. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. That one's actually the most interesting one. Because it's really not far at all. That's right outside the door that's near, like, the big witch's face. So it's really only, it's like two screens away. And I kind of look at it and go, well, it seems like a kind of a, a weird warp point. Like, like yeah, it... I guess it gets you to Rusty Bucket Bay faster from the outside. I went completely the wrong way. This is not this is not what I wanted to do at all. And now I'm just swimming up so I don't fucking drown. I didn't even know this was up here. Um but yeah, it it just saves you like half a screen, but even even the thing about it is you know, if you if you walk there, you'd have to go through the door, swim down, go through a, a, a tunnel, swim up, and then you're at Rusty Bucket Bay. But to get to the cauldron, you have to run up past the door. So you're already, like, you're using the same amount of time to run away from the door to get to the cauldron to then get deposited in front of Rusty Bucket Bay. It's just a very questionable warp point that I don't, I don't understand. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to drown, so I'm going to go up. Damn, dude. I think I can get the water to level 3 before this level 3 hype train ends. It's I'm not that far. Level 4? I don't know what to promise because I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be honest right now. There's no level 4. 3 is the highest you can get the water up to. So, I guess it's kind of a... I kind of wrote myself into a corner with that one. I could do like level four, but you know, I'm about to do level eight, so it's like eight four times two. Level three hype train! Level three water level! Now this one doesn't hold though. I'll tell you, this one doesn't hold. We've only got 30 seconds of it.
can't be leaving the water level up here all willy nilly. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You go through here and you turn around. You go straight up. You go straight up. Up, 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 up. Fuck, it's over there. Not, maybe not exactly straight, but it's fine. We made it. It's fine. The final Cheetorius. I have nothing else to offer you in this game, so I apologize. Thank you for all the subs and bits, though, during that, um... Artificially... Um, generated hype that was going on. I appreciate it. It's real to me. Well, this fish was coming at me, dude. Fish was coming at me. Twenty fucking subs. Why? I mean, thanks. Level fucking four. I told you I had nothing to offer. I don't. Ooh, shit. Did they? I don't think they heard. Me. Okay. Now, I'm going through here simply because I think I can save some time. This is Click Clock Wood. Raid coming? Who's raiding? Who raided? What you talking about? Hang on. Get, where's the... There's a secret here somewhere, damn it. There it is. Go down here. Now this pot... He hooks up to that, which is near the beginning. That's right outside... Uh, Clanker's Cavern. Textbook. Alright, so that is like the end of the game. So oh, not even though. So like that's to get to the the um like the board game ending that I was talking about. But the game like sort of ends there, but really doesn't, and then you can go even further, and then you need even more notes to get past that. So now we can unlock the final level. But I'm just going to go ahead this way. Get this thing. Okay, yeah. There's two things I can do. Uh, hey, what's up? People from coming wherever. Nobody told me yet where you came from. They probably did. I wasn't looking. Jump on in here. Oh, Madness? Fuck, dude. I tried to raid Madness the other day and he refused it. In, in which, I mean, I was about to raid him and then he stopped streaming. Uh, so. So I really, I really attacked him for that one. So there's two things we can do down here. Now we can go ahead and pop open the final level because I just placed the jiggy. And then... This is why it's convenient. I'm saving time. I'm speed running, okay? Then I turn around and I can go back to Treasure Trove Cove, put in all the cheat codes that I have. Because speedrunners would absolutely take time to go out of their way of things essential to the game to go do stupid shit that meant nothing, right? Is that is that what they do? That's what I'm doing. That's my definition of speed running. Go slow! But yeah, um, thanks for joining, everybody. You know, sit back, relax, playing Banjo-Kazooie. Get near the end, probably... I probably have two and a half hours left, I would say. Depending on how the last two levels treat me. I'm gonna prolong it by going back into level two to enter some cheats. Don't worry, it's on board, they're in game, okay? No game shark here, wasn't a rich kid. But I was jealous of you if you had it. You son of a bitch.
Crap, 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 crap in your mouth. Crap in this bucket's mouth. Level four, that's not bad. I'll take it. Watch this. Die. Talk about a cheat code. Ew! B. Where's B? There it is. This is boring. Um, this part sucks. But, you know, we're only doing it once. I mean, we're doing it three times, but... We're doing, we're doing it three times once. This is why I've put off coming here. They're a little more lenient because uh, there's not enough letters to hit them all individually, so you can double tap the same letters. Damn, dude! There was, I, I glanced over. There's like 96 subs and 4,000 bits during that that hype. Crazy. Thanks, dogs. I swear, the game is more than this for people who just joined. It's not a spelling game at all. It's not an educational game. I hate education. Okay? Hate it with a passion. I'm against institutionalized learning. Um, but this is for cheats. This is uh, for cheating. And now I've got double gold feathers, so... It's a worthy sacrifice. Hopefully you didn't learn too much there. Alright, so we've got all the cheats entered. Um, we've got... All the levels unlocked. We've got this crab fucking me up, just like ripping me limb from limb. Um... That would take me back there. I think I want to go this way. Because I still didn't get that. That jiggy yet. And get that. Then we do Rusty Bucket Bay. We got nothing to do in between Rusty Bucket Bay and Click Clock Wood. And then we'll just shoot right into the last level. Yeah, that's exactly where I wanted. So this is annoying because I'm pretty sure I have to do it twice. I don't I don't know a way to do it once. Maybe, maybe if I shoot it with an egg. You gotta get to the, her head because there's a jiggy in her eyeball. But generally speaking, when you break the glass, you fly backwards and you fall off. And then you gotta do it again. But I suppose if I shoot it with an egg, that, that might suffice. You'll understand, I don't usually think when I do things like this. Yeah! Look at that, dude! That is a speedrun move right there. Save me some time. Nobody's bouncing off nothing! So, like, right, I could turn left here. Think about it. The screen's already loading. I'm in the water. I'm swimming down. I'm swimming down. I'm swimming through the hole. I'm on the next screen. That screen's loading now next to Rusty Bucket Bay. But instead, I take this shortcut. The shortcut takes a load. Drops me off next to Rusty Bucket Bay. Was it any faster? Was it maybe, like, five seconds? It's weird. It's a weird, it's a weird cauldron. That's all I'm saying. Welcome to hell, Rusty Bucket Bay. Now, I'm going to do the, the worst thing first. So, I know I have to get in the bowels of the ship in order to activate one button. 
I believe it's on the back of the ship. It's definitely jumping through one of these steam pipes or what have you. Um, they come in pairs. One is real, one is fake. The one with eyeballs and teeth, that's the fake one, if you weren't sure. So this would be the real one. Now, I believe this is just a button down here. Yep, this is what we want. Very, very factorial looking. Very industrial. There's a fan. There's a big button with a fan on it. And what that does is that slows the fans, enabling you to get through. It is impossible without pushing that button. Now, that room we just saw a glimpse of, that's where I'm going to die a lot. And when you die, the level resets. So any, like, bridges you've extended, any buttons you've pushed, like the one I just pushed, all reset. So, it's wise, in my opinion, to do it first. Now, there's also two specific skulls which entice you to your doom. Alright, you jump down here, float, fall, get the first one of these guys, okay? All right, that one, that one's safe. You can get that one. Now, I've, the, the thing is, I've already set the precedent to, to miss skulls, so maybe I should just continue that here, because these two are death sentences. This thing spins real fast and fast and fast and fast and fast, and then slow, not very long at all is it slow. It's a death trap walking on this thing. That's it. Look at that. Look how fast it starts going again. So to get that skull, you got to run to the end and do a backflip. And unless you time it perfectly, you're going to die. I'm not going to do it now because I want to get this, this jiggy first, at least, because I pushed the fan button. Now, this is another jiggy, totally unrelated. You've got to hit two fan buttons here. So, now that I push that, there's nothing over there. That's just a path for no reason. There's literally nothing over there. It's a fuck you. We can get through this because I hit that first button. <sighs> Poorly timed, but amazing recovery. Okay these. Alright, at least step one is done. I got this jiggy. I don't have to ever hit that button again. Now remember, on, on Nintendo 64, if you die, all the, the notes reset. So this was a bitch, this level. Now we go this way, because it's faster. Okay, I'll run up here. <gasps> I almost jumped off. That wasn't even a hard part. I just got drunk with power, and I almost jumped off. Okay. Wait, wait. I'm gonna waste time getting these because I don't want to come back. Now, the only advantage it gives you is when you hit both of those fans, th those things stop spinning. This doesn't, though. This is still gonna spin, I think. Yup. So you might look at it for a second and go, Oh, it's safe. Dead. The second you touch it, you're dead. The game hates you. Die. Burn in hell. You want to haul ass. Now, do you want to go to the front of the ship or the back of the ship? Do you want to go to the back of the ship? Where is the back of the ship? I don't know. You get all discombobulated. I believe it's the direction you're facing when you walk out of here. This is the back of the ship. You get confirmation because there's that little that little hatch right there. That's towards the back of the ship. You need to haul ass to the back of the ship. Jump your ass in this icky oil water. Now, it doesn't hurt you, but you lose air at twice the rate. Swim on down here. Get in the propellers, get the jiggy. Hardest part of this level, done. We've done it. I got the two, the two annoying jiggies. Fuck those mumbo skulls. Don't need them. You know, if we go in at the end of the level and go for them and die, who cares? That's, that's the hardest part of this level. And we knocked it out right away. Go us. Good job, everyone. That was because of the level four hype train. Now, you don't understand how that correlates, but in my brain, it does. Damn. Wow. 
Good job. Good job, everyone. Very similar to Clanker's Cavern now, I like to just go around the outside. Around the outside. Around the outside. And clear all this shit before I fuck with the ship. I, I like I was I felt compelled to try and kill him even though I was clearly out of the path of danger at that point I don't understand why um, I need 20 or 25 skulls for the last level I don't remember how many exactly um, fuck fuck you you prick I'm gonna shit on your head Come here, so I can poop on you. I'm not done with you yet. I'm not done with you yet! Now I'm done. Get out of my sight. Get out of my fucking sight. Uh, I am gonna absolutely get that health, because I'm, <laughs> I'm running low. Well, I'm not running low, but... It wasn't full! So you also, you lose twice the oxygen, but you lose it even when you're in the water, like at the surface. Because it's yucky. Life preserver my ass. in here. Okay. Just this. I don't understand how I took damage from that. I mean, I clearly hit that that fucking stupid prick. Can you stop beating the life out of me? That's a weird one, right? Like, whenever you hit a switch, it usually either there's there's a timer or it's far away or that just goes and eh, it's right there the 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 programmer who was putting the switches in the game didn't meet his quota and he was like shit I need another switch all right I go I'll just put it right here okay all right only two mo left in the game. Oh, all right, nothing else in here. You can break through the ceiling in here, but it doesn't serve a purpose. You know, like in in Mad Monster Mansion, you needed to drop down the the second level of the house in the pumpkin in order to fall into the um, the jiggy. That's not the case there, so I don't really understand why it's another entrance. It's just kind of pointless. Yeah, so you can you can bust through that clear window, but there's not Oh wait, no, I lied. That's wait. That's a different room. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Right? No. Wait, what? No, I swam in there. Hmm. Different room. Okay. 
you also don't have to do it here either. You can just swim in here and you can work your way up here. But I was I was confused because it's the same thing that but twice. I almost walked past it though. But I didn't. Do 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 Pro Strats! I didn't get the jiggy though, that I need you. That's this way. Where you at? There you are. Hidden in the corner where no one can see it. Did I have to go underwater? No. I just chose to. Oh, fuck. Forgot about the screams of that dolphin, too. I'll do that while I'm here. Uh, you didn't see him, but he's under the anchor, like, ah, he's all fucking trapped and shit. Oh, damn. Almost ran out of air there. You piece of shit. A uh, high. A bye. This level's throwing everything. Now watch this. Oh, you ripped him in half. It's horrific. How is it okay with that? Just cut right through his body. Okay. A lot of jumping in the water and then swimming back to a ladder or a box and you know, fortunately we're we're knocking that all out early. What a smooth shortcut. Over here. Green Jinjo and the green goo. Necessarily need all these, but it. I just. I do it when they're there in case you just end up on. Because there's not a there's not a toll slot on each side, so if for some reason you end up on the other side and you need to cross. I just. I don't know. I figured do it now. But they. Amazing. Amazing. Such skill and dexterity. I think this is the front of the ship. Stop fucking with my brain, camera. Stop fucking with my brain. No! You fucker. Watch out, the stove is hot! You will get burned! You'll get burned by the stove! <laughs> Got burned in the oven, but I don't care, I needed my mumbo!
I don't think there's anything in here. It's also, again, it's like a space space issue, but they're like, fuck it, make a tiny guy. All the other ones are way bigger than that, but I guess they already built the refrigerator and they said, screw it, make it small. I don't know. All right, now, remember when I was talking earlier? That's a 2D window. That's a 3D window. Subtle difference, but a difference. Weird. Very weird. Good luck noticing that the first time you've ever played the game. The hut! Again, just like all the other levels, it's just a matter of remembering which ones you've done. So I try and clear it one at a time, clear one level at a time, do all the windows, do all the the, the smokestacks, because it's very easy to miss one, and then you're just struggling later to find notes or Jinjos or whatever the hell you're missing. Good. That's not an exit. That's just a fucking window or something. Wait, where is the exit? I guess it was next to that. It's this one. That's what I meant. Yeah, you all saw. You saw that. You saw I did it right, is what I'm saying. You saw it was perfect on my part. Uh, jump down here. Yep. I kind of knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Alright, so even if the last level is 25, I think we're good. But I'm already at 21. No. No! No! No? No. I didn't even have to kill him. I just wanted vengeance. Um, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have, I have both. Okay, that's okay. That's what I thought. Man, we're we're tearing through this level. I'm gonna be honest. Haven't gotten caught up yet. Uh, okay. So, shit. I already, I lost track. Where did I come from? Okay. I did, I did all those, I did this, I think, good on this bottom level. Ow, shit, was it didn't even stay broken, did I do this one? I don't think I did this one. I did not, I did not. Yeah, I, I can't remember if the windows stay broken or not. Conquer! That's all that's in here, like, like four notes. This thing. The thing about those in particular, like in these spots, they'll hit you and knock you off the fucking ship. And it's so annoying. It's so annoying to have to do it like, oh, you got like, you're in the water, you gotta swim all the way around and oh, it just sucks. Now, this code that isn't here because I'm on the wrong end of the ship is irrelevant. And I'll tell you about it later when I get to the right end of the ship. I really thought I was going to turn a corner there. I thought I was going to see a code. I didn't. So, hang on. That's the front of the ship. I already went in this. No, I didn't. Never mind. Okay, I need to... Okay, I've... Clearly already gone in there. Uh, 
Okay, they are broken, so I'm sure I got in, I went in here. I'm sure I gone in here already. Okay, just double checking. Okay, so I think we're good on all the windows and the pipes. I think that's everything. Um, let me get up here. Nope. Now this is what I was referring to when I thought it was over here, uh, but I wasn't. So this code is written somewhere. I don't remember where the hell it's written, but it's somewhere in this level. But I believe it's three, one, two, one, a one, and a one. Seven. I feel like I didn't finish the outside perimeter too. I know I was doing it. No, I didn't. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I gotta. What I really have to do is those storage crates. Because that last section, I can't get to. Um, on the outside, I actually have to. It's like the reverse. I have to climb up the crane on the ship and crawl over uh, to the outside to get over there and hit the buttons and shit. I think this is a mumbo token up here. No. And a jiggy up here. You know it. Okay. So, have I gotten... No, God, I'm missing two Jinjos? Fuck. Probably miss some then. Hmm. That's that's gonna be the one that bites me in my asshole. So there's probably one in some of those containers. Oh man, I feel like I've probably passed one though. I think I should have four by now. Oh no, okay. Okay. If there's one in the containers and there's one in the end. Then we're good. Let's let's hope for that. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here. So first, I'm gonna climb up here. But before I cross, we get this guy. That, there's actually nothing to do. It's just sitting there, just waiting to be got. Jump back. How many notes am I missing? Damn, I'm still missing 12 notes, huh? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way first, and if the camera allows it, I'm gonna try and clear those containers. Now, I think only one of these containers has something useful in it. I could be wrong, and I think it's just the center one. Nope, I lied. Okay, good. These are where the notes are. Then the, the, oh, the center one has something big in it, like a Jiggy or a Jinjo or some shit like that. But. Jesus Christ, good thing I had health, huh? Oh, I forgot that was the thing. Yeah, it's like, kill them all and you get an extra guy? Okay, I'll let them blow up on me, that's fine. Oh, yeah, 
Pretty, pretty notes, pretty notes. Here we go, collecting all the notes for the banjo show. Right, two more? I think they're both over there. And a mumbo to boo? God damn it! Kill this man! No prisoners. Whew! That's a relief. Alright, all hundo noties. Done. And now... Based on what we have, there has to be a Jinjo in here, I would think. Fuck yes, there is. In this back right corner, it's a blue Jinjo. What a loser. What a fucking loser I am. And I, that wasn't even because I knew I was missing blue. I just knew it was a blue Jinjo. Uh, so, that just leaves the one Jinjo and the boss, and we're out of here! This is like the fastest I have ever- I haven't beaten it yet, but this is probably the fastest I've ever beaten Rusty Bucket Bay. I was thinking an hour for this level, and I could do it easily in- in less than ten more minutes. That's crazy. It's because I was so scarred by the, um, the first two Jiggies I got in the level. Now, we can get back up here. Nope, not, no. We're not Alex Mack. We can't go through that grate. But we can go around it. And then we do, wha bam Boom! I was just gonna let him fall and not hit anything, and I realized I was going to smash into the floor. This is like big boom box or some shit. Big, big. But yeah, no, it's boss boom box. Sorry. So we just go fuck off. 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 Oh, it's bad. It's bad, guys. It's bad. Probably one of the harder bosses in the game. It's bad. And that's it, Rusty Bucket Bay! Done! Blazing speeds. They said it couldn't be done. They said no human could ever beat this level that quickly. We proved them wrong. We proved them all wrong. I don't think in the history of me playing this game I've ever completed it faster than any level except Click Clock Wood. Which still might be the case. Um... Not counting Gruntilda's lair. What are we? What are we? What are we? What are we looking at here? Twenty-eight thirty-nine under thirty minutes. Wowie Kazowie. Mad Monster Mansion took longer. Twenty-eight sixteen was Gobi's Valley. Twenty-eight thirty. Wow, mere seconds longer than Gobi's Valley. Faster than Freeze Easy Peak because that was a botch job. Faster than Bubble Gloop Swamp. So we've got one world left, and then there's like, there's like a decent chunk after that, but there is one actual level left, Click Clock Woods, which is by far the longest level. Um, 
Okay, I'm trying to remember where I gotta go to get that. That jiggy, which I think is just back. This one's just, it's right in your face. You literally can't miss it. You'd have to be a real D-bag to miss that one. Nine! Nine out of ten. Grunty's Lair. You know it, because we've already done it. Head on over to... Okay, jump. Thank you. Please, please jump when I tell you to jump. Don't defy me. Uh, I'm going to just take a beating here because I don't want to use up my goldy feathers because they're pretty useful. And, wow, only one hit? That was, that was pretty good. Uh, they're pretty useful in, in Click Lock Wood. Please clap. All right. So, before I do this, what I imagine is going to be my final potty break. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to go potty. We've got 800 notes. I've got uh, 89 jiggies. Yeah, 10 more in this last world, and then one more for the grunty switch jiggy. I'm going to do a, a quick potty break. I will BRB, and then we'll do the last world in Banjo Kazooie! We're back. There's my controller. Got it. Thought I lost it. Found it. Hey -o. All right. Final level. Click clock wood. Now this one's a bit of a doozy because, as I've mentioned, it's there's four seasons within the level, so it's the same level, just repeated. Um, and I don't know off the top of my head what like, number of things are in each level beyond the notes. Um, oh, grab that. So, I know that there's four, there's four notes right there I just grabbed. Uh, but then there's... There's 16 notes in three of the worlds. I want to say you do spring, then... Summer? Then... Fall, then winter. 
And I think there's 16 in spring, 16 in summer, like 48 or some shit in fall, and 16 in um, winter. So you just gotta make sure you have, like, for example, so there's four out there. I need to make sure I have 20 before I leave this shithole. And then the next one, I need to make sure I have 36. And then the last one, I should have uh, 84. And so this is why you want the, the feathers, too, to grab that. So you can turn into a bee on this level, and when the bee lands on it, he doesn't fuck you up. But it just makes it easier to grab it when you see it as Banjo. And there's a couple of Jiggies that are multi-season. Where you have to do shit each season to kind of progress it along. For example, there's this giant flower you need to grow. So you need to plant it in spring, water it in summer, and then I think water it again in fall. And then you can get the Jiggy. This level also has a lot of potential for fall damage because it's just like a big ass tree in the middle and you just go up and up and up and up and up and you can fall and get messed up. It's a hundred eggs and one of them made it in. It has the same sound effect as the... Um, the waiting boots. The stretchy, like, rubber sound. Just throwing that out there. And the the transformation this level does I, arguably the least of any transformations. At least off the top of my head that I can that I can think about. There's, you get one Jiggy. Um, two? Maybe two? No, you gotta break the door down. I'm trying to think. There's at least one Jiggy. There's a couple of music notes that you can't get otherwise, but there's not much. I mean, you can you can fly with it because it's a bee and it makes getting some shit simpler, but it's only available in the spring. It's you don't, you can't use it in any other um, season. So flying around just to get shit in the fly trap is kind of overrated, you know, when you can just banjo jump into them. trying to think right now what the hell I can do. I might as well... I, I don't think you need to, you know, prep anything. A lot of the transformations you need to, like, open a door or do a thing already, you know, or, like, some shit like that. I think with the bee, you can just turn into the bee and get whatever you need. Look at that. See? 25. We missed a bunch. I know we did. But I didn't care. Because now, you never need them ever again. Will I still get Mumbo tokens when I see them? Absolutely. But we don't need them ever again. And thus, there is no um laundry laundry machine, washing machine. It's weird, laundry machine. Laundry to washing and drying. So fly my ass up to the tippy top. There's. Oh, there's one note, or, um, sorry, Jiggy, that only the bee can get, because you have to fly there. Oh, there's a Jinjo, too. Okay, so that, well, no, you don't even need him for that. You don't need the bee. I'll get the Jinjo, but you gotta come up here with Banjo anyway to open that door. He's got no moves. Can't be, can't be fighting. Uh, there's, there's one around here somewhere though. There it is. That's like the only, the only bee jiggy I think there is. Dude, he is violently swaying about. Uh, and then there's a beehive around here somewhere.
which you need to come back as Banjo later, and they even tell you that. They're just like, hey, we have this Jiggy, and we're protecting it from some filthy, disgusting uh, bear. But you can't get it now. You have to come back as the bear. But there's like a, there's notes or like a, I thought it was notes. It's a ginger. There's a ginger in here. But that's it. I think that's the only thing the bee does, is it gets you two Jinjos and a Jiggy. And then it's kind of worthless otherwise, because you need Banjo um, to climb up and do, like, you need him to hit that egg, you need him to break that door at the top. There's not much in spring. It's it's prep work. I have the, all the notes already. You got to crack the egg. I think you... You might not have to talk to the squirrel. I don't know. Because he doesn't do shit in spring. But... Uh, you got to start the plant. And then come back later. Yes, everyone's saying you need the B for the for the last jiggy. Yes, but that's outside the level. So that you don't hit that switch until another season anyway, so you you essentially you have to get the B twice. I mean I guess I guess you don't have to because you could skip it for now. But you'd still have to come back later and get the B. Um, because the last jiggy in the game, you need the B to get. But I'm saying as far as the jiggies in this world. Um, and it just seems a little light. You know, a little light on the on the mumbo transformation. And now we climb. So if you're not a fan of finicky platforming with well, I mean the platforming is fine, it's the camera control that sucks. This is gonna be hell, this level for you. As it just whips around however it feels like. There's tons of dudes that are waiting to knock your ass off. It's all around dog dude. Um, you can't go in there yet. There's no hole Banjo can fit in. In another season, either summer or fall, I think it's summer, there's like a hatch on the top you can you can smash open. I don't think there's anything in the house yet. Someone's building this house. I don't know who. No one ever no one moves in. The house gets finished, but for no reason, as far as I'm aware. This is super easy to mess up. That jump right there. It's just kind of hard to tell where you're landing. What's up? Out of my sight. Pop in, say what's up to the squirrel. He's like, yo, what up? I got nuts. I'm good. He, he doesn't give a shit. Um, but watch, you come back later. He's got no nuts. He gives a big shit. Here, see this, this little baby. It's just a baby. There we go. Break him from his shell. Mama. Mama. Boom! Born in a diaper. I, I mean, like, I, I don't know if that's supposed to be a diaper. You know, yeah, it's a diaper because he's got a little. I think that's uh, like a safety pin on the front. Or bobby pin? No, safety pin. It's a safety pin. People always mix those two up. I think bobby pin's the one that goes in your hair that people use for like lock picking. That's a safety pin. We're good. He was right. Everyone, everyone, Michael was right. It's fine. Uh, and then this thing. 
I I check it every goddamn season. Nothing changes. It's just here. It's got one jiggy in it. There's nothing else. There's no notes. There's no honeycomb pieces. There's nothing. Yet it remains every season. I imagine you can get the jiggy any season. Um, but I know it's here in spring. And I think that's it. I think we're done with spring. So fuck me if I miss something. I didn't even talk to the beaver. The beaver's underwater. And he's like... Yo, I'm beaver. I can't get my fucking house. There's a boulder. But you can't break the boulder because there's spring and it's there's, there's, there's water. And you're just like, oh, I can just swim. I can't smash. Can't smash in water, bro. So I think that's it. And now we go to... Fuck me, the one guy I didn't kill. I just made the bold assumption that they were all dead. Now we go to spring and, uh, or summer and hope to God we didn't miss anything. The only reason we'll have to come back is we will have to get, yeah, there's the beaver. We will have to get the bee, um, after we complete everything. If the grunty switch were here in spring, I would just do it now and get it over with, but it ain't. Shalong, spring. Alright. Right off the bat, there's a yellow Jinjo hiding in like the... I don't even know what, what this is. Wheat? Over here, little fucker. There's another 16 notes. Uh, there's a bunch of worms that we need to get to feed this little baby. I believe we need five. Five wormies. There's there's more than five. So that's nice. It's nice of the game. Can you get it? Thank you. Um, I, do, I don't know exactly which seasons have stuff, but I think we do need to visit Mumbo again, though, just because I think there's stuff. There might be notes at some point in his hut. Even though we won't use the bee again in any other season. And if I were smart, I would stop taking all this health because if I were to accumulate fall damage or, you know, damage from enemies or what have you, it would be nice to have it there. I'm not smart. So I'm just collecting it all. Alright, now we can bust this open, let the beaver get in his house. Naughty, I believe his name is. But we can't do shit because it's the only slope in the entire game that... Talon Trot can't ascend uh, because it goes like straight up. So we gotta wait till fall when there's more water again, and then we can swim up in there. There's a squeak. I heard that squeak. That squeak. That. That's a worm. That's a worm begging to die. Actually, I believe it's a caterpillar, not a worm, but it's begging to die. And I'll grant its request. Fall is open! So all these little fuckers, um, they're called something stupid. They're like banjo grabbers or like bear grab. It's something oddly specific. You can see there's a flight pad under him, but you can't use it. They die in the winter. So I think winter is probably the only season that you can use flight pads. Oh, this poor bastard's back. Time to go ruin his day. Or season, I suppose. Yo, what's up, buddy? Hey, yo, go me! He's just like, no, God, no, please. Whoop, bam. Give it up. Give up the Wawa, baby. Oh, fuck.
Damn it! Shit! Just want to get that worm. That one's that one's tough to jump, kill the enemy on the ledge, and also make the gap. It's you you're kind of lucky if you get one or the other. Camera, you almost fucked me. Dude, thank God those bees stopped at that invisible barrier. Just like, why, why are you chiming in now? Leave! He's just chilling. He's just like, damn, dude, this is hot. I ain't doing shit. Nothing much. Nothing much, brother. Nothing much for him to have. Nothing to find. That's okay. Does he need it? No! Wasted two gold feathers to get that item I didn't need. I did, I did. Alright, so I think we're clear all the way around. It's time to start heading up. There might be a jiggy to the right. I can't remember if it's spring or fall. But there's, there's one for platforming a bit. And then it just kind of goes on for no reason. Like, you can keep platforming to get up, but you definitely have to go to the right anyway, or the, sorry, the left, because there's more notes and shit on the path. You know, like, I can spring up and be probably somewhere near that, that um, house that's getting built, but I'm almost certain I have to go back this way. Fuck, my legs. Uh, or I'm gonna miss something. Let's see. Uh, well, there's a worm I don't need. I'm gonna get it anyway. All right, some gold feathers. I'll grab those. Well, maybe, maybe there's nothing that I need per se. It's not worth the risk, you know. go this oh and the yeah i would have missed the notes and this whole damn beehive thing so there's no reason to really use that jump pad okay here's another you know challenging fight these bees are pissed they won't they don't want me to touch their honey and they're gonna come at me I won. I won. <sighs> How's that not a cheat code? That's just in the game. Okay. 
I lowered my chair a half an inch. More? Yeah, so that's that's where it basically would have led me had I taken that shortcut. This is another camera fight here. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna do this. Barely see that extra guy, and you think, who cares? You jump over there. But then, this fucking thing over here. <coughs> Excuse me. That was effing graceful that I landed that. What's he doing? Well, he's getting the mumbo token he doesn't need. Got it. Guys, you don't need to bless me. I'm already blessed with the best darn subs anyone could ever a I'm just kidding. That seemed like a something streamer would say. You're alright. I'm gonna like you guys, but <laughs> let's be serious here. <laughs> That's gonna hurt my road to 60k, isn't it? God, we have no notes. And we have 36, but in the long run, we have none. <laughs> Mediocre mashers. Oh, now he's like, now he now he looks like me. And he's just like, oh, oh, daddy got big. I shouldn't have hit so many nuts. He's like, I should have got the number one. Why did I get the double? He's farting too. It was like, it was like a, a belch and then like. Do I make another drink? I probably should, right? I'm almost done with the game. I should pause it, though, because I'm ruining my time. Ground pound him. Yeah, just to punish him. Shit, I'm knocking everything over. Drink water. Again, I, I got water. Look, I got water right here, and it's full because I'm not touching it. <laughs> ah! It's poison! Dribble? No, I didn't dribble. You must... Who are you looking at? Like a basketball? Fuck yeah. God. That burger, it's still like... It's a part of me now. And it will be. For some time. Until it isn't. But goddamn, I thought I was over it. After we beat Rusty Bucket Bay... I was happy to just move past that burger. Holy shit, though. That was a burger I should have eaten in 30 minutes, and I ate it in, like, three. I didn't want Matt to sue me once I just switched over to his stream without actually hosting him. Because, you know, I was still trying to make all the fucking money using him doing the work. And then I was like, here come the lawsuits! If I told my trainer I was 190 pounds yet? Well, yeah, obviously I told my trainer before you know. How often do you think I talk to you guys? Also, down to like 184 now, okay? And it's vodka that's keeping me slim, okay? Low calories. The orange juice is terrible for me. Anyway, this fat piece of shit, I'm gonna leave him there. I'm gonna jump through this window, though. Okay, see this? They decided this would make sense, unlike the ghost house, which made no sense at all. You jump through a window right next to the front door and it took you somewhere else to another dimension. But, much like me, this fat piece of shit squirrel, next season, he's gonna go, Where are the nuts? I'm hungry again. Feed me.
Time to eat, little baby bird. I know you only needed five, but I got eight. Suck them down. Dude, he's growing exponentially. Um, that might- Oh, God! It was almost terrible! That might be it. Because, again, I know at the very top, it's just the- the room that I've already gotten the jiggy from. It- this gets a little easier, if you've noticed. There's more- there's more logs. I think there more and more appear as the seasons go on. Uh, yeah, no, that must be- I've gotten, uh, I got 36 notes. I think that's it. I'm just afraid to jump off, because I think I'll die. Well, never mind. You don't have to be afraid to jump off when you fuck it up and fall anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. What a tiny brain. Didn't die, though. You're right. Proved myself wrong. That's what I get for being a little bitch. To fall. All right. So this one has like half the notes out of all the seasons. So we need to make sure we end. I say we, it's me. You guys aren't playing. We need to end with 84. And. Fatty McBirdson, I believe, needs 10 uh, caterpillars now. Get your ass in there. It just can't be done, you know? It just can't be goddamn done. At least, at least in fall, climb right up the leaves. We're back, baby. Missed it. Got it. Oh, hello, little one. Time for you to die. Oh, shit. I already have the three left over from the last level. I didn't even remember that was a thing. Well, that makes it even easier. Uh, okay. I'm going to go back here. What's my favorite Zelda? Um, I don't think I have a one in particular. Probably my three favorites. Ocarina of Time, Link to the Past, and Wind Waker. Although I do love the new um, Link's Awakening Remix. Remix? Remake? Remake. That's awesome for the Switch. That's a great game. Uh, and I like Breath of the Wild. It's hard for me to say with Breath of the Wild because as much as I like Breath of the Wild, it's just so different. And I really like Zelda for what it is. I feel like it's a game that is perfectly lent to both top-down like the classics and like the handhelds, um, but also 3D, like Ocarina of Time and such. But Breath of the Wild is like, it's not innately Zelda. It's like Zelda plus, you know, Skyrim or, or some sort of giant open world game. And it's awesome, but I really missed 
a lot of elements in that game. Like, I missed the dungeons, you know? I missed all the, the items, you know? Like, I got the hook shot. I got this thing, like, the, the progression, you know? Breath of the Wild, for what it was, was fantastic. But I was actually a little disappointed when they announced Breath of the Wild 2. I was really hoping they'd go back to, like, a, a, a classic Zelda game before they made another either sequel to Breath of the Wild or, or like, you know, another game like Breath of the Wild. But I understand it because people fucking flip their shit over it. And I love it. You know, I beat it. I got, you know, I did everything in it. I, I did everything in that game that had relevance. As in, I didn't collect every Korok seed. I collected every Korok seed up to the point where it no longer served a purpose. Like, I maxed all of my inventory space, which is what the Korok seeds are for. And then there's like an extra 600. And then the game goes, here's a piece of poo poo. And I'm not, that's what you get. You get poop. I didn't feel the need to do that. And I completed every single quest that got you a unique item, like a, like a piece of clothing or something like that. There's tons of quests in that game that just give you rupees or shit like that. So like, I'm sure there's those random quests I haven't done. So the only thing really, in my opinion, that I didn't do in that game was the Korok seeds to get the poo-poo. And I didn't upgrade every single piece of clothing because it's just... It would be like dozens of hours of extra grinding just to go, I did it. There's no reason to. Um, but I put, you know, easily 100 hours into that game, if not more. And I loved it. But I really liked the, you know, nice 10 you know, whatever, 10 to 20 hour Zelda game that Zelda usually is. So that's just why it's not, it's, it's, it's probably not on my, it's probably higher on my list of favorite games than, than favorite Zelda games, if that makes sense. Stop, damn it! I don't need it. I just, it's a fucking stupid skull I don't need. But I want it. It's tantalite. This is crazy. This is crazy. You, are you seeing this shit? Here we go. First try. Here we go. Okay, I'm not sure what's up there. There's some leaves. Oh shit, there's a token over there. I should get that. I guess. I guess I'll try it once. Nice. First try. That's cool. I don't know if you saw that, but like, that'd probably be pretty hard for some people to do, especially in one attempt, but <laughs> here we are. Yeah, we're doing another thing where I, I don't see the point to going up here because, again, there's, there's like nothing to get. There's just stuff I'm missing. But watch me do it. Goddamn right. I gotta pat out this runtime. There's a worm. He's ready to die. Oh, I guess he lives here. That's right, I forgot. Sorry, I said no one lives there. Just the weird beehive house, I guess, lives in the house? It's like a house living in a house? That's weird. What the fuck? What the fuck? And he laughed at me, too. That was the craziest part. He laughed. Alright, so now this poor sack of shit, he's hungry again. And, uh, I gotta go find his goddamn acorns, because he's, he's not gonna do it. Step number one, break into your own house. Bro, you got a soggy acorn in the water. Stop, stop. There we go. Are you ready to die too, little, uh, you know, sentient acorn? Because you will. He's gonna eat your ass. Also, second one. In his fucking house! Check your own house! 
You can get these acorns? I don't know, man. I feel like you already did. You know, get... You ever get caught on furniture and you just want to throw a fit? Out the window. Uh, okay, there's one down there. There's one over there. Oh, shit. I thought he was going to hit me and it'd be perfectly positioned where I would fly to my doom. Okay, got to talent trot this or your ass will slide on down. Um, and then... This one's tricky as well. This one is is good for making several attempts at both getting the acorn and landing on the platform underneath. You turn it from the side like you're playing a crane game at the boardwalk. You jump, nail it, land on the wood. That's it. Boom! Roasted. Roasted acorns. I can't remember if he wanted six or seven because I've delivered the man six. You know it, brother. Whoa! Bruce Raid! What's up? What's up, people? I know you can't chat because it's in sub mode. But I see you. I acknowledge you. What's up? Thanks for viewing. This is Banjo-Kazooie. It's the very end of the game, you know? If you, if you came into this... This stream going, oh my god, Banjo Kazooie, I love this game. Well, it's almost over. If you came into this stream going, Banjo Kazooie, I don't know anything about this game. I can't wait to learn. It's almost over. So, fuck. Are you gonna watch the VOD? No, you're not. But it's there. You know? You know what? I'm still appreciative of Bruce. He didn't know that he'd be sending his his viewers into an absolute shit show that they didn't want to look at. But he did it anyway. You know? Against common sense, one could say. Well, you haven't watched six hours of this because I've only been streaming for five hours and 52 minutes. Don't exaggerate, eHub40. Please. We don't need people blowing this out of proportion. This bird's getting big. And he's out cold again. That's that's what I wanted to do right after I fucking sucked down my Five Guys burger. But the problem was I realized I was streaming. So I couldn't just consume and conk out. I was like, shit, I ruined it. <gasps> I also fucked myself. Because... Oh, God, I thought I was going to fall. I, um... I should have finished this stupid plant before climbing up here. Because that's the only way to get that jiggy. You gotta, you gotta jump off the um, the beehive there. And I fucked up. Uh, I maybe maybe this has notes in it. That's what it is. See, I I knew I knew there was a point where I came in here and there was nothing but a couple of music notes, and I thought it when I was when I was the bee. But I just realized no. It's when you're Banjo. So why does level take so long? Because even though it's, like, hollowed out and shitty, you still gotta roll up. Um, okay, so I think I just need one more Jiggy. But, dude, there's so many fucking worms, this is crazy. And you don't have to give them shit in the last season. I need one more Jiggy, I need to... No, sorry, I need two more Jiggies. I need the, um... I need the flower, which I haven't done yet. And there's probably actually some notes around that flower. That that flower is pretty good for c having a couple notes in the pen. Fuck this. I'm just going to jump. I don't care. All right. Well, I guess I look like a fucking idiot because there's no notes down here. But I will smash this dude's spine, crippling him. But, you know, getting something out of it for myself. Shit, let's see. Hang on. I just subbed to you ask you where that hat's from. It's from Pokemon. I think it's Pokemon Go. I got it online. But it is a Pokemon's hat. I hope that's the answer you were hoping for and not something cooler. Because that is the reality of the situation. 
A jiggy does mean jigsaw piece, correct. I didn't shorthand jiggy, the game did it. I'm just following suit. I'm a follower, not a leader. Uh, oh, fuck my buck. Here's three more right here. Oh, I'm gonna run out. He's gonna chomp me. All right, so I need two more goddamn notes. There's two more notes somewhere here. Um, and all I need to do, I can pray, I can pray to God that they're inside Naughty's house. Let's go find out. Because I gotta get a Jiggy from him, and then I gotta go get that Jiggy from up top. Um, one more Jinjo in winter, that seems right, that seems right on paper. Um, and I think actually both Honeycomb... Uh, pieces are in winter. Fuck yeah! Yeah, you are! Yeah, you're here, you two notes! You bitch! Now we're talking! Alright, now I just gotta climb my ass back up, get that Flower Jiggy. Oh. Going to winter. I don't remember where the Grunty switch is. It must be in winter. Because I'm pretty sure I just went all the way to the top of the tree. It's, I, it's, I'm almost certain it's either at the very top of the tree, outside that door, or it's on the right somewhere where that stupid path is that I keep taking. For no reason. I keep pointing out that it... I don't know why I'm doing it. Because I have to backtrack. I just... You know, I'll be honest. I can't be fucked at this point. I don't need the skulls. I don't need the feathers. I don't... I don't need any of you goddamn people. Okay, I do need this health though. You're on a move! Alright. Did I unlock Winter? That happened, right? I'm gonna guess I found a button somewhere and pushed it. Do we know that? Do we know if that's a real scenario? Or I made that up in my mind? I'm gonna go... I'm gonna leave and find out, but... Um... Wouldn't shock me if I didn't. Get out of here, you little asshole. Alright. An overwhelming yes, I did. Man, if it's not open... I'm coming for you. Last season... The winter. So, we need 16 notes. One Jinjo, two Honeycomb pieces, one Jiggy, and the Gruntilda switch, I believe. Now, I know where both musical notes are off the top of my head. Or musical notes, the, sorry, Honeycomb pieces. And the Jinjo, I'm basing this off nothing, but I have a gut feeling could be in Mumbo's house. Seems like it could that could that could pan out. I could play. Uh, the frozen water, much like the oil, takes air at double the rate. So you gotta get in and GTFO. Just hug the right wall. Nope, that's not it. That was a trick. That was a trick! I was testing you. Did you fall for it? Okay, let the camera calm down. Settle out. No, can you... No, I've fallen. I've fallen, and we've done it. Yeah, whatever, cool. Yeah, it's okay. I just fucking robbed you and then left. See ya! Mm -hmm. 
And we're clear. Oh, there's a Jinjo. Okay. It wasn't in Mumbo's house. It was on Mumbo's house. Very close, though. Very close. I'm taking it. I'm taking I'm taking the win on that one. I don't give a fuck. Whoa, I got a gamer pick. Remember those? And he's like, I run this bitch now. I mean, that's fine he wants to take vacation, but the guy hasn't worked since spring. He took vacation, or he worked in the spring, he turned me into a bee. It was too hot in the summer. I don't remember what the hell his excuse was in the fall, and now he's on vacation. It's just like, what the hell are you doing? When do you, like, what? What's going on, man? People are asking questions. Fuck, missed. That's okay. Turn around. Turn around. We're good. I'm trying to remember where the final jiggy is. It might just be like high up somewhere. Oh, dumb, dumb idiot. It's the bird. The bird's the last jiggy. So I just need to find the notes. I just need to get the honeycomb, which I know where it is. I need to get the notes. And then uh, I go talk to my bird boy. Get that last jiggy. Get hooked up. I don't think these guys give you shit, but I hate them. So they need to die. That was a snipe. That was an absolute wallop of a shot. Downtown! Ah, there's the switch. Die. Okay. The final grunty jiggy. Um. I haven't gotten a single fucking note yet. Wow, that's almost impressive. This one you can really be lazy and just fly around everywhere since it, you know, gives you the, the pad, but... Watch out, because you'll run out of dim feds. I'm going to run up, though, just in case there's some... Some notes in the tree. Okay. I will jump around this maniac. Expertly performed. That's nuts. How is he still standing? This bear's unstoppable. I fell off three times. I just need all the notes. That's all I needed. That's all I needed were the notes. If you if you strike me down now, I will only become stronger. You little asshole. Fucker. Shit. I thought there were notes in here. Some stupid ass skull. Who's still collecting these? The game's over! Oh, this is annoying as shit, I just realized. There's notes on top of here, right? But now, I guess because there's snow on the roof, you slide? So normally, to, to counteract the sliding, you do the Talon Trot. But there's no way to, like, to do it. You have to land first, and then trot, but you can't. So I'm pretty sure you just have to really annoyingly keep flying up here again and again and again, getting, like, one at a time. Because you can't... Like, okay, never mind. Ignore everything I just said. Ign ignore what I just said. I managed to pull it. It's honestly, like, it, it was true. I'm just so goddamn good. That's not true. The last time I played that, I definitely got the feathers or the launch pad. And I flew up there, and I got one, and then I fell. And then I flew up, and I got one, and I fell. And it really pissed me off. And now, I'm kind of more pissed off, if that makes sense. It's like, why did I do that last time? <gasps> you fucking what, mate? 
All right. I'm gonna do this just to keep, take care of this filth, this filth ball right here. Fuck off. God, it's so satisfying to watch the life leave his eyes. All right, what, four more. It's really the only thing I need to find is those four more notes and they are probably either somewhere on this tree or in the squirrel's house. Oh, your door's locked? I'm coming through the windows, buddy! Time to pay your protection money. Oh, it'd be a real shame if someone broke your windows while you were sleeping. Pay up so it don't happen again. He was sleeping so he didn't hear me. This one's a dues. I'll break into your house twice. There's men living in your home. And also, look at all these goddamn, you had me find you six acorns? You got a thousand. That's it. That's every one of those collected. We done. The health be full. We maxed. We locked and loaded. There they are. If I see one note, you know there's more. This game don't play around. This game don't give you one note at a time. Hang on, there's a screeching void. Damn, you, you're a big boy now. You're a big boy now. I think he poops it out. Watch, this game loves poop. Yep, he made a poop sound effect and everything. Three more notes. The final three in the game. He almost fucked it up, but he didn't. Adding that tension. We've done it. We have done it. Double check, view totals. Boosh, under an hour. I'm telling you, I'm setting records for myself. I don't think I've ever done this level under an hour. It's by far the longest level, but 52 minutes? I'm just a man. I'm just a human man, okay? Shit. I mean, technically the clock's still going because they gotta go get to fucking B. But other than that, okay. Well, you haven't <laughs> you haven't witnessed history yet. He's still playing, but you know, soon. Look at this schmuck. Remember back in spring when he was like, "My house, I can't get in my house." Dude, I already solved your problems. I'm not gonna do it again, dickhead. Is there anything from the northeast I want you to send in for snack attack? Well, you know, packaged goods aren't really an issue, right? It's like local shit. Like, you can't send in like a local bagel. You can buy that shit. It's more just like the fresh shit, you know? I mean, the Wawa's and the hot bagels. And that was the name of the, specifically the bagel place I went to. It's called Hot Bagels. So I'm not being vague by saying a hot bagel. Uh, and the and the za. So I don't I don't know. 
I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, you can vacuum seal. You know, again, Taylor Ham, but that's not, you know, Taylor Ham or pork roll, depending on where you're from. Depending on if you want to get into a fight or not. I call it pork roll. I call it Taylor Ham. Fuck you. Die. Just eat it. It's breakfast. My mother, when she used to visit back in the time, you know, when people would go over people's houses and such, she would buy a bunch of uh, kielbasa from a Polish deli, you know, Polish, and she'd freeze it and wrap it up and bring it, and then I would consume it over time at my leisure. That was enjoyable. This is it! The final jiggy! 100 jiggies! <sighs> he dance if he wasn't a bee. The bee can't dance. Let's check the totals. Let's, let's go to Mo! Game total, 900 of 900 notes. 100 of 100 jiggies. 24 honeycomb pieces at a paltry 5 hours and 23 minutes and 52 seconds. A new world record! It's incredible stuff we're seeing here today. Let's zip zap zoop over to that door and see if we can't see some more. Can you open the door as a bee? Yes, you goddamn can. He's done it. He's done it. 100% ignoring the other shit he doesn't want to do. Fuck the puzzles in Banjo's house. He doesn't want to do it. No one wants them. No one wants to see it. And he's not going to do it. Now, we move on to the Wacky Game Show, where Michael refused to investigate the answers to the questions throughout the entirety of the game. Here's my first mistake. I haven't checked if I have full health. Every time you get a wrong answer, you lose one health. So I highly suggest you get full health before you start it. The real question is, how much health do I have? I'm generally good for having to do this a couple of times. So be prepared for that. If you die, you fucking start all over. He's got full health. Oh my god, completely unintentional, but he has full health. He's activated one of the two final cauldrons, and then he's accidentally left the arena. That's okay, fake out. He's coming right back. So let me break it down for you now. Every, every block here is a different sort of question. Um, if you answer it correctly, you proceed. If you are incorrect, you wah, wah, take damage. There's health strewn about this course. Um, the little Gruntilda boxes, as you can see, those are the ones where you have to answer trivia that I ignored the entire game. Now, the, the skull boxes, it's red with a skull on it. If you answer that wrong, you die. You fucking fail no matter how far you are. You have to do it all over again. Those are the worst ones. However, hold on, folks. It's not that bad. You see the Banjo Joker. If you complete that correctly, you get two, count them, two skip cards that allows you to skip any tile you see fit. I recommend you use them on the death cards. If you got more than you need, you skip the grunty cards. But, if you get the Joker card wrong, you do not get to try again. You fail! No skips for you! Let's start this game. I could have been a host. I'm just saying. Could have been a goddamn host. I didn't read what the question was. Where are they not? Was he, did he say Jinjos? He said Jinjos. Uh, they're not in a chest. I really missed the question there. I'm be honest. Bad start to the game. Didn't read the fucking question, but pulled it together. Are you kidding me? That's Bubble Gloop Swamp. Clear as day. I have to be a fucking ignoramus to not know that. Yes, that's my final answer. Okay, now do my best. Avoid the health, because you can come back for it later. If you get your ass kicked in. 
Lurks a hand who hides a jigsaw in the sand. What is the name of his hand? His name is Grabba. Because he dunk on grabs you. Most of it is common sense. That you could not know what he said. But it's a hand that grabs you. His name is probably Grabba. It's a honeycomb piece. It's a hun that's clear as day. That's honeycomb piece. Hair comb, that's not even an item in the game. Okay, I don't know. Oh. I, mm, was that... Is that Freezy Peak? Was that inside the Christmas tree? You know it. Fucking... You know it! Ho! 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 He's got two skip cards. He's got two skip cards. That's Gobi. That's Gobi. We've been shitting on him since Gobi's Valley. The man has a level named after him. I mean, come on now. You gotta take shits. You gotta shit in the hole. We've been over this. Now that might be a difficult question if you didn't actually do it. But I did it. Now they make me work. So this one's annoying. They even throw a dude in here. Die. Anyway, back to the game. Honeycomb, Mumbo, Kazooie, Egg. Mumbo, Banjo, Kazooie, Egg. Mumbo, Banjo. I missed. Well, I, okay. Don't worry about it. I was not even the one I was going for. Oh, thank you. Um, okay. So, let's get a look at the board here, right? Now, I gotta do Grunty. Then I got a death thing right above me. I'm gonna skip that. I got another Grunty. I gotta go right. I gotta go right. If I go up there, there's two more deaths going up. That sucks. I'm not doing that. So, I wanna go death. You wanna avoid as many deaths as possible. I go death. I go left. I got another Grunty. However, there's another chance at a Joker over there. So, at full health and surrounded by honeycombs. Now is when you just start guessing shit. Where'd she buy her clothes? Which is warehouse? Nope. Not right. Fuck. Try again. What'd she eat for breakfast? Spider pancakes. Boom! Look at that. Look. Oh, no, I didn't pay attention the whole game. Skip. It's an extra life. Extra wife? That's it's not even a thing in the game. Take this serious. Lee? Take this seriously. Yeah, that makes sense. There's no grunty. Ugly. Ugly. Nasty woman. Not included. That's... Again, what am I, an idiot? It's a fucking orange. It's Mumbo's Mountain, dude. Come on. Thought this was... I thought this was a game show! Type of toothpaste. Um, salted slug. Done. Oh my. He can't be stopped. He can't be stopped! Oh, what's wrong with Captain Blubber? He lost his gold! I complained about it in this very stream! It's under your own damn ship, man!
extra money. There's no money. There's no money. Come on, dude. Uh, uh. This was way harder as a dumb kid. Oh no, this I got this one wrong, guys. Remember. Yellow, dark blue, red. Yellow, purple, light blue, blue. Yellow, purple, light blue, blue. Yellow, dark blue, red. Yellow, purple, light blue, blue. I missed the question. I look I was spinning in my chair and shit and I missed the question. I, I fucking missed what she asked me. <laughs> Let's be serious. Uh you can stole the fan. You can slow the co the rope wait. Yes, the cogs. Can't slow them down. Look, I looked away for a second. I was busy gloating. You can't hold that against me. That can't, guy can't gloat for a second or two? Um, God, there's so many annoying grunty questions. What time is it? It's boo time. Because I'm scared. What award did she win? Um, biggest butt. 33% chance, I'm just saying. That's the one! That's the one we got! That's the only one we know! Dirty undies! Lock it in! I knew it was gonna come up! I'm not sure who that is. Who is that? That's bottles, right? Fuck, then it was Jinjo. It was Jinjo. The Jinjos don't really talk in this game. They sound like that in the second game, but they don't really talk in this game. Sure as fuck wasn't 2D. Bottles is more like Yeah, I'm bottles is like Um Oops, it was gold it was gold feather. I was like yeah, Redford is like, Doo -doo -doo. guys, I'm falling apart. It's Cranky Kong. That sounded like death. That was death. That's who sounds like that. The devil. Jesus Christ. See, look, remember, I wasn't wrong before. I mean, I was wrong when I went, now nah, I gotta smell it backwards. But not, but, and then I was wrong. And I said, no, no, I swear, at the end of the game, you gotta do it. And now, we're at the end of the game. Here's my problem with this game. Too much time. Too much time! What am I gonna do with this extra 15 seconds? I guess lose, because I had 14 seconds, but you know, close enough. And the final question! Um, was it bold? Skip! 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 We've done it!
die. And she fucks off! She's not wrong! We're gonna sit through the credits! The first of two! Kazooie, still an asshole, is like, hey, what should we take? Me, 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 pick me, free me. I'm literally held hostage. Oh, I don't know. How about that grotty, ugly thing? Oh, man, Kazooie, we should take Tootie. That's what I was talking about! Waka, 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 waka! Crazy. Asshole. Asshole! You sort of beat the game now. If you played this game and said, look, I didn't fight the main villain of the entire game, but I saved my sister, my work here is done. Then the game has ended for you. Um, no, I'm almost certain you can skip these credits. But I feel I owe it to the stream to make you watch them. And that's what we'll do. It's also the only way you're going to know what the names of the enemies were. That's called the Jinjo. You didn't even know that the whole game, but now you know. That's Mumbo Jumbo? Secrets revealed. And more! I'm chatting, hang on. Fuck, dude. Vader, can you go and watch Fargo? We didn't beat the game yet! You're leaving now? This is crazy! What are you talking about? We gotta sit through all the credits and then we gotta beat the boss! I'm gonna enjoy my tiny fries! Maniacs! I'm drunk. I'm drunk with power. I'm drunk with the world record for any human to have completed this game in such a time. I'm just your average real guy, you know? You saw. You saw the record before we started. It was 7 hours and 33 minutes. We busted that to bits. I'm only 6 hours and 30 minutes into the stream, and the game's like 30 minutes less than the stream. We're like 6 hours right now. We beat this game in 30 minutes. We're doing it an hour faster than ever done before in the history of mankind. This is crazy. I'm down here with you, you know? The rabble, the filth, the peons. And then you're using your lifeless bodies to lift another peon up. To do something incredible. Something no one ever thought was possible before. From a lifeless husk of a human such as myself. This is a communal effort. And it's happening. Right now. I dropped the fry. But. I picked it up off the floor. And I fucking ate it. I thought this stream would at least take me eight hours. Turns out, I didn't believe in myself. I've got like five or six fries left in this cup. I think I have another 2,000 in the bottom of the bag. 
Uh, you couldn't even see him. Hang on, there we go. That's a better shot. Yeah, the current speed run world record for Benji is one hour fifty seven minutes. One, probably not hundred percent. Two, not a normal human. Not just some guy. Not some filth fucking bottom feeder, you know? Just like scum cave dweller. And that's what I'm bringing to the table. It's about pedigree. Or lack thereof. Is it a loop? Did it start looping? I stopped paying attention. <laughs> people are now people are now saying free us from the loop. Has the credit started looping? <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, relax, 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 relax. Everybody chill out. Alright? Okay. Now, let's get back into the game and finish this mofo. That world record right there. Seven hours, thirty-three minutes. New record! Five hours and 37 minutes! This is unheard of! This is crazy! We could do this in under six hours! Holy shit a Go, 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 go! All my lives! You've taken them! I had like 20! And now you've reset me to three? This is heresy, I say! Uh, okay, no, mm, stop! This way, yes! I'm gonna go in here. Yo, thanks, coolest apple for the bits! Get ready, get ready for like level 15 hype train when we beat this Bitch back into the Stone Age, okay? It's gonna be unbelievable. There's gonna be people screaming, swinging from the rafters, just going nuts and hooping and hollering and fucking celebrating and shit. I was like, how do I get on that leaf? That doesn't seem possible. It's not. This is the leaf over here. In my greatness, I was confused. Momentarily, mind you. You guys are confusing drunk with, I set a world record, okay? I've been here for fucking six and a half hours. Three drinks ain't nothing, okay? It's 2020. How often you think I sit at home and drink? Every goddamn day. Got some fry on my screen. I had to wipe that off. Oh, fuck. I didn't get a chance to touch the other side yet. I forgot that's after the quiz. Okay, so we did it, and then, you know, this took a lot longer the first time. But now... But now... Get the, get the fucking extra guy. Get the guy. We need him. We might need it. So for the final... Final battle. 810 notes. It's it's a lot. I mean, you're talking about out of 900. It's, um... That wouldn't be a standard for a game nowadays. Like, if there were 900 fucking notes, they'd be like, we need 40 to beat the game. And you, could, and you need 25? Like, you can only miss six jiggies just to fight the final boss? That's crazy. It's actually... A shockingly high threshold in order to just beat the game. Who the hell would be satisfied with not fighting the boss? This guy's going nuts. You're not even Klungo. I don't know what you're doing in here, but I guess for some reason the game sees it necessary to be like, look, remember? If you get a game over, by the way, I never did because I'm amazing, but if you get a game over here, Grunty pulls off the thing and she turns 2D into some big, like, ogre with, like, her, like a one tooth sticking out and she's, like, the super hot, sexy lady. Um, she uses that machine to do it, but... Now, we get into that good good. So if you get super high lots of notes, it just gives you shit for the final boss fight. Just to, like, hook you up in case you were low. Which is, like, whatever. It's not that important. 
You know, even 882. Oh no, this one actually is important. Sorry. This one's the only one that's like crazy. You need 882, which only allows 18 missed notes. And then you need another four jiggies, allowing you only two missed jiggies in the entire game. But still, I kind of feel robbed. Like, why did I get those extra two? I only get 98. Doubles your health. Doubles. That's some Zelda shit right there. Just make it a different color. Put a white outline around it. It's doubled. Get our eggies back. And get our feathies back. Now we're fucking stacked and jacked. Let's do it to world records. This is watermelon. Fuels recovery plus enhances hydration. Seven BCAAs. Those are amino acids. You know? They're important. That's what... That's what people tell me. They're talking for... It basically is like, jump in my head, and they're like, you're filled with piss and shit. And Kazooie's like, no. And Banjo goes, just do it. And then we do it. It's happening! <laughs> this is a meaty boss fight. There's no other boss fight in the game like this one, where, like, she goes through a bunch of phases, you get to do a bunch of different shit, she doesn't die in, like, two hits, you can't just use the golden feather. I was afraid a little bit that I was gonna go off the edge there. I'll be honest, I really was. Okay, you gotta, you gotta hit her. Damn it. Guys, this is off to a crazy start. Thank God I have double health, am I right? Don't worry, I'll get one honeycomb back after I complete phase one. Oh, right into it. Man, she's kind of she's kind of whooping my ass a little bit. There's like four phases to this fight. Screams, dude. She'll let you have it. Whoops! Didn't mean to do that. Here, lady. Ooh. 
No! Uh, doink. Right in the ass. Right in her ass, dude. All that, all that practice from them fucking evil snowmen. Oh, dude, she can't escape. She can't escape my beak! All right, she escaped that time. That one time. That one time she escaped my beak. Okay, that's that two times she escaped my beak. She's a crafty one. Stop! I command you! Oh, I took damage from slamming my own head into the ground? That's crazy. I need to get away from the edge, because that would be nuts if she knocked me off. <gasps> the Jinjos! It's happening. The guardian spirits. Yo, this is some cinema. Move over, Marvel. This is some endgame shit. Banjo, well, you don't need to, like, look. Like, go first person. That seemed excessive. Die. Not having double health right here, I would have one health left, so. could easily not win here. Can you stop? Can you please stop? Stop. I'm I'm streaming. You're going to make me look bad. Stop doing that. Trouble, lady. Old record. Jinjo. This is epic shit right here, dude. She's trying to shrug it off, but she can't deny his power. He's got purple, he's got yellow, he's got green, he's got blue, he's got orange. Yeah, yeah. 
The power of a thousand gods descends upon you. You have been judged! And found guilty. Splat! Crushed under a boulder where she will remain forever until Banjo Tui when the boulder is removed. And she's just a skeleton, like Dry Bones Bowser. Now enjoy the extended second credit sequence! They're loving it. They're drinking. Banjo's got nothing. His cup's empty. There's a woman. It's so weird. There's a human woman. There's no humans in the game. And she's carrying melons in front of her tits. And I, I don't know if it's intentional or they just... It's so weird. It's like Austin Powers. Where there's just like these giant melons. It's so weird. <laughs> Wild. Hype train level one. What a ride. What a ride. This guy's bottles go nuts on watermelon. It's not even disappearing. He's chewing nothing. That's it. That's my first ever stream. One game. Do it all in one sitting. Did it way faster than I thought. I thought it'd be like an eight hour game, maybe nine hour stream. Six hours and 47 minutes? We did it. We all did it together, mostly me, but but we did it. Yeah, Hype Train, yeah, level one completed, wow, level two. Now you can know the names of all the other characters you didn't care about. Shout out to Matt for unknowingly and potentially unwillingly uh, swapping in for a couple minutes in the middle of Freeze Easy Peak, uh, or I should say, I think it was after Freeze Easy Peak, before Gobi's Valley, when I ate my Five Guys burger. People that tuned in then probably didn't know what the hell was happening. Well, you see, I was just watching someone else stream and do the work. Um, and he did fine for a moment, you know? I had to... I had to quickly switch before I started losing, you know, viewers like a leak in a sinking ship, but it held. That's the important thing. It held. Are we going to raid Matt? No, why would we raid Matt? That's crazy. I'm not going to raid. I'm just going to turn the fucking stream off. He can do fine, okay? We didn't even hit level 5 hype train. I don't think Matt deserves it. Snacker. There we go. Boom. I told you that's what his name was. Thank you so much for everybody that, that sat here on this Sunday and watched me play Banjo-Kazooie. Um, thank you so much to Noble and Churston for modding. And thank you to Nightbot. You know, I... He's one of a kind. And he's the best I've got. And I'm just... I'm so grateful every day I wake up and I know that he's mine and he's mine alone. Thank you for all the subs and the bits. Um... I hope everybody enjoyed it. I hope they enjoyed a chill, laid-back stream. You know, there was not a single major fuck-up in that entire stream. I thought for sure I would miss a note somewhere or be wandering around. Look, I mean, there was the whole present catastrophe, but that was really nothing. Um, you know, I thought I'd, I'd be stuck somewhere with 99 notes or I would die. I was really sweating Rusty Bucket Bay. But in the grand scheme of things, I mean, that is without a doubt the fastest I've ever completed this game. And the world saw it unfold right before their eyes. You know, we made another little dent, no matter how small it is. We made a dent towards that 60k subscriber goal. I don't know exactly what it's at, but I'd be surprised if it was under 50,000. Seemed like there was thousands coming in every minute. Um, there's just... No way a human could compute that quickly.
That one leaf was real troublesome. You talk about the leaf I got on my first try? What the hell are you talking about? First try. I went right up that leaf. That was crazy. I don't think anyone else has ever done that before. Um... I don't know what I'm gonna do next. Next, per se. I mean, I might end up streaming Fall Guys next, as far as the next game I play by myself. Um, could be Bioshock, or as I said, I could end up attempting Ghost of Tsushima. See how people like that. I do have to do the New Game Plus run through, so I might just do it on stream because I can just tear through it. Although, I'd probably let the cutscenes roll, which is, if I were playing by myself, not what I would do since I played the game already. I would just skip them to get it over with. Um, but I don't think the game's going to be any harder. I think it's going to be easy as shit on New Game Plus. Because I don't think you have to increase the difficulty at all. But, um... I don't have any current plans to do more Dead Space. I think I would do Bioshock before Dead Space. And I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I told you, it really pissed me off that my internet kept going out. It didn't go out once today, though! That was cool! Maybe, uh, more Crash 4, maybe Ocarina of Time sometime in the future. Who's to say? You know? Me, I'm I'm who's to say. I'll decide. It's my stream. I'll do. I'll you know. I'll play what I want to play. But wow, wow. This these these credits do end, I believe. Maybe maybe they don't. I don't know. You let me know when they start repeating. There is, like, a stupid scene after this that's, like, really pointless. And it, they obviously, you can tell, oh, here it is. Wow! Speak of the devil, it's like he knew! Guys, you have 20 seconds left to finish Hype Train 2. What the fuck? What the fuck? That doesn't... That doesn't seem right. Hype Train 20, maybe? Alright, well, fair enough. That's fine. Such strong support! Oh, so so anyway, they... If I recall, there's a bunch of shit alluding to Banjo-Tooie here, which was a joke at the time, right? There's like, we'll call it Banjo-Tooie. Then they made it and they called it Banjo-Tooie. And this is where they kind of show you some of the stop-and-swap shit that never became a real thing until, you know, a decade later on Xbox 360. But in the timing of when this released on Xbox Live Arcade... I guess Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts was coming out, so then they just they just go, oh, it's about Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, when it's clearly it wasn't at all. They took the thunder from Tui and they repurposed it to Nuts and Bolts. If you've just joined recently and you want to watch the whole thing, the VOD will be up. I probably... I have no plans to be saving these and uploading these anytime soon. Um, maybe I'll save this one just to hang on to it. But if you want to watch it, watch it. I think they save for like two months or some shit. I've already contemplated deleting Dead Space because, again, it really pissed me off how it kept turning off. Because um, it's like a bunch of like seven, ten minute streams. But... I relented, and I left it, as it were. Um, this one, this is perfect. This is proof of a world record, so I'm not touching this, you know? And they don't even tell you all of them. They're just like, yeah, there's this egg here. And they don't even show you it. They didn't even finish. They just like, they start talking about the egg, but you never actually see the egg in the in the, the screen. Fuck. Um, the key, at least, they show you the key. And then they show you the, I think, the egg in Gobi's Valley. And they're like, and more. There's like six or seven. And they don't, they don't care. They don't give a shit. Why should I give a shit? They don't give a shit. It's their game. It's crazy. We did it. We fucking did it, dude. I just want to see that. This is this is almost over. And then I'll see that fat score, like, save forever. 
save file number two. Dude, it's gonna be like six hours. Wide shot. Gets get get blubber passing on the jet ski one more time. Nope. Yep, there it is! Into the sunset! We did it! And then suddenly, just world record. Oh no. And then this guy. He's just pushing and shoving. He's pushing his rock. Trying to get by. Pushing his rock. She can't get out. Then, the game says game over, which is crazy. You say the end. You don't say game over when you 100% the game. That's wild. That's insulting. And she gets to laugh at the end? What the fuck? I'm not... Whoa, hang on. Game over? Fuck you. You're game over. I won. Get the shit out of here. That's wild. Game over. You lose. Wow. And here we are. Time is a circle or some or it's a line. I don't know. It's some kind of shape. But we're back. Let's see that official fat stack. The previous world record, seven hours, thirty-three minutes and thirty seconds. The new world record, five hours, fifty-one minutes and thirty-one seconds. My God. My God. Wow. Wow. Well, that's the, uh, that's the stream. That's Sunday. A lot of people screaming about, you know, who to raid. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people going. Um, I'm going to say, I mean, unpopular opinion. I'm going to say a good friend of mine, Slow Beef, is streaming. Listen, everybody else that's streaming, they know shit. Slow Beef, if you ever watched Red Supre, I watched it. I enjoyed it. It's content that I enjoy. And I like playing. I, I play Fall Guys with him a lot. He plays on PS4. I know it's beneath me, but I play it with him. Um, and I usually don't stream. But I'm a big fan of Slow Beef. I'm gonna raid him. He's playing Phasmophobia right now. And I'm just gonna... I'm gonna raid him. Just, you know, be like... Michael says hi. He always... Like, he knows I'm from Achievement Hunter. He's been in Achievement Hunter before. I had him visit once. He was on Off Topic. But he still... He called me Ah Michael, which I thought was funny. It's like A.H. Michael. But whenever he talks about him, he says Ah Michael. Now I'm Michael Streams here. I don't even have the heart to tell him. I don't think he knows that um, I changed my name. But... I'm gonna, I'm gonna raid him, um, raid slow beef. And, uh, I mean, you don't want to do that? Just go to Matt's anyway. You can go to Matt's and be like, hey, Michael didn't raid you, but he said I could come here if I wanted to of my own free will. That's perfectly fine. You can do whatever the hell you want, you know? It's your Sunday. It's, you use what little time you have left. It's 9.30 at night. But I'm going to raid Slow Beef. Thank you so much for everybody watching. Thank you so much for all the bits and the subs and for hanging out. This was really fun. And, um, you know, I don't know what day I'm going to try to stream later this week. But it'll probably be a shorter stream. And who knows next weekend? Who knows? You know? But I think this was a success. And uh, new world record. Just tell everybody. Uh, even if they don't want to hear it, tell them anyway. And also listen to Face Jam. The Fortnite podcast. Popular game. Popular podcast. Michael Jones signing off. I will see you next time. Goodbye, suckers and mashers and everything in between. Then I gotta wait 10 seconds to click read. But I say, I say, go into this night. Good luck.